Welcome everyone to the 94th uh, Cash Knowledge Seekers Workshop for December 31st, 2015. It's the last day of 2015 and this will be the last, uh, the last uh, session for this year. And I suspect Mr. Cash will want to uh, recap on some of this year's activities and uh, present a new uh, picture for us for the for the new year. Um, speaking of new pictures, we have a new picture up there now from uh, um, Sam Smith on the Magrav Technologies Informations uh, Facebook site. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Mr. Kesh, are you there still? Yes, still alive and kicking. Uh, good morning, good day to you, good evening, wherever you are, wherever you listen to these um, uh, knowledge seekers workshops. As uh, Rick said, today is the last day of the old year, and from tomorrow we start a new year and hopefully it'll be a new horizon for the Keshe Foundation and the support of new knowledge technology in plasma. We have covered a lot. We have come with a huge uh, progress with the Keshe Foundation in 2015, where we blocked for years. Now we progress very rapidly. We still see the, what I call the dark forces in the back, working very hard, writing to the police and writing to governments and to the banks and they've made themselves a laughing stock at the moment because the governments have realized it is a new horizon there is a new technology and the beauty with it is it has worked exactly what we tried to do since 2001 2 that the knowledge is carried by people not by one person the point at this moment is not one name the point is hundreds of thousands of people who are testing, developing, progressing the technology. This way, what we collectively as Keshe Foundation um, supporters in different languages, nationalities and colors and races and the one nation of one race, one nationality, one country, one planet, have managed to change the course and this does not suit a lot of people. This does not suit those who have been trying to suppress the new technologies. This does not suit those who get paid to disturb and disrupt. We have seen recently some 50 emails, patches going to the police, uh, trying they can stop the process. And the police just passes on the information to us. We are receiving more. They went to the army, they went to the banks, they've been to PayPal, they've been everywhere but they don't understand. They can pedal as much as they like. It's not me anymore, it's you as the Cash Foundation members who's testing. We fail together, we succeed together, we develop together, and this development has changed a lot of things. In 2016, now that we have set the structure for all the teachings, the only aim now is to develop the spaceship in a way that it gives the man the freedom to travel. In a way that we decide the shape of the spaceship, we decide the shape of the craft that we would like to be the passenger of. Some of you know, and some of you might not know, and will not disclose any further till we achieve the ultimate position. Some of us were witnessed in the past seven days to some tests, and I've been witnessed to a number of other tests in private, where people have managed to create the elusive plasma condition, where they see colors as they are on board of a spaceship, they see auras outside the buildings. Once we complete this technology in that way, it is done by people, then we bring it out. From now on, we have brought everything under control, under one roof, that when we show the first spaceship, it will be done in public. We are days, most probably not more than weeks away from it, because the elusive plasma condition, which is the signature of this planet with a blue background plasma, 
has been achieved. It's been recorded by the team of the Keshe Foundation in the background and in the presence of a number of people. Those who are online and know what I'm talking about, they know they've been present. The next step for us is to balance the three layers of the plasma that we give it a physical tangibility. Hopefully this can be achieved within the coming weeks. The, the structure of work is on, on the hand and we are testing on three different points on this planet that if one fails, the other one can carry on. But we don't disclose one to another that we keep the stability. In fact, what we have seen is what we said. And for two people who most probably are listeners and some people who have been with us, the condition of the balanced plasma where you do not see what is in front of you has been achieved in two occasions. I know of a third and a fourth one, but it's for them to come, uh, what do you call it, to the front. The technology from now on in 2016 will be only directed in the direction of the manifestation of the plasma technology in the shape of a spaceship. I have taught and the people who understood are following and building. I'm not doing any more building. I just teach and if you listen to the teachings of past, most probably three to five months, you have already managed to achieve that point. You just need the direction. We will go through only plasma technology without matter. And in the past weeks, we are concentrating on development of the plasma technology only, which means we will walk away from the matter state. We use the matter to create the plasma and we use the matter state as holding of the condition, as a parameter holding. This is fundamental. What this means is, for example, we use the copper wires to make the coil, but the copper is there just to keep the shape, not to do anything else. Where the nano coating on the surface will give us the separation between the matter and the plasma state, and the GANS will give us the only plasma state. Okay, go ahead again, Mr. Kesh. Sorry yes. about that interruption. Okay, thanks very much. We're going to have another interruption when they try to fix the computer. Um, so what we are doing and what will be done this year is totally concentrating on the use of plasma and the plasma conditions. As what we explained uh, from the beginning, that as I was just um, mentioning, that we use the copper for holding the frame to start with. Then we use the nanomaterial for the interface between the plasma and the matter, that it keeps the shape and the condition and the position of the plasma. And we use the GANS as a plasma to use its properties for um, what we need. In a way, um, the copper or any other material which you use to keep the shape of the plasma it's just a tool. The nano coating is the magnetic field connection on nano layer between the plasma and the matter state. And then you have the property of the plasma, which is on the gas state. So what we have achieved in the past 12 months is understanding and producing a system which can be dictated to take shape as you need. In a space, when we have stars, the stars, the position of the galaxies, dictate the shape in the environment they are. And they dictate the shape of their environment. Here, instead of having galaxies and universes and creating connection magnetically, we have used the matter state gravitational magnetic field strength to dominate and dictate the shape of the plasma. If any of you understood this, now you can start playing any games you like with plasma. This is what was missing. A few people 
have managed to make this simple understanding. You looked at the copper to make the nanomaterial to get your energy or to get your medical applications. But what the whole purpose of all the teaching was, was to show you a simple tool, which is a copper wire, that you can dictate the shape of the plasma. The structure of the plasma, the strength of the plasma, and the position of the plasma. Very few races in the space have managed to achieve this. But with the beauty of having the physicality of the matter on the planet, it was very easy to develop it. The nanotechnology, the nanomaterial, which you have collectively developed in different ways, by caustic, by electric currents, by whatever, fire or whatever, has that advantage that the matter, the nano and the plasma is of all the same. So connection is very solid, is very strong. If you look at the nanotechnology industry in the, what we call in a commercial side, they take something they call nano and they spray it or paint it or force it. It's for the first time that the man has found the nano layer which connects the whole spectrum from the high power gravitational magnetic field of strength to the matter state which he has control over. This has a huge advantage, this has a huge beauty in and for those who understand how to manipulate it. You can manipulate the matter into the shape of the plasma you like. In the coming time, you can replicate the structure of a galaxy by creating the boundary of it with a wire. You can nanocode the wire and create the fields and put in positions what you need and see the effect and the position of the galaxy how you want to be. You can dictate the shape of a neutron, a plasma of an electron, the plasma of an atom. This is the freedom which was never there and it's very hard to achieve. But because we have managed to connect and create a single structure, with a spectrum of the gravitational magnetic field from the plasma high power to the nano condition to the matter state plasma, this gives man a huge advantage in the space. A huge advantage. Now you can use the plasma to get what you need, but you can condition the plasma by the matter state in where you want it to be. The power of the plasma technology the way we have thought is beyond imagination of the man. It just needs to be explored, it needs to be understood by more and more people, and in understanding it, how to use it to what and to what advantage we need. Do we want to convert it into motion? Do we want to convert it into food? Do we want to convert it into emotion? We have now a very large spectrum of the plasma strength in the hand of the man. Up to now, we only had the matter. We hammered it, we melted it, we blew it, we did whatever we like with it. But it didn't change state of the matter. State of the matter, state. Now, you can create and control the plasma, which is the mother of the creation of the universe. You are given the seed of the essence of the creation. In the coming weeks, we'll announce the Keshe Foundation Space Center, as I said, in the, one of the major cities in the world. The work is ongoing. Then, we collectively bring you to the city to start developing. We make a central position from the city, that it becomes the space city. In that case, we collectively, we bring all the human resources to complete this process within the next three months. Our target is 2016, achieving a full flight with a full control. We are on target, and a preliminary test in three locations has confirmed the creation of the elusive plasma. 
in a larger scale, beyond boundaries, even the matter state, inside it. We will do further tests, and when we do further tests, by tradition of the Keshe Foundation, we'll bring you live online. You become part of the structure. All of you have the full knowledge to do it. Some of you have taken the step in the direction to test it. I have seen a lot of people making videos and calling us a sect, is a religious sect. We have no sect, we are not a religion. The religion and the people who call a sect are the people who want to put fear amongst people. We teach the ethos of the universe, what happens when you're in the universe. All those people who made the coils and they're still making the coils and connecting it the wrong way and then they blame because they never understood is for their shortcoming. We have delivered and we continue to deliver all the units and all the technology which is developed. And we will do it from now in conjunction with governments. We work, we operate through government offices through government space agencies, which they'll take the spaceship name. At this moment, we are working with four governments, and Keshe Foundation becomes coordinate on the spaceship program between the four governments. We have passed the individual cases in the house to build a unit, you still can do, this is how we work. Now we work collectively with governments to develop this technology of space, technology of spaceship program, collectively as nations. Those who try to understand the technology, you have to speed up to understand the totality of it, that you can join us in this invention. It's a huge program, and it's built on the back of the knowledge seekers who understood the teaching from the beginning. You got to understand how the technology works. You got to understand how the technology of the plasma works. You got to look beyond the structure of the matter state. You got to look into the structure, how the plasmas interact within the structure of universal plasmatic gravitational magnetic field. Cash Foundation manufacturings are in the process of being developed and built and structured in the next few weeks and months. Cash Foundations are built to structure to bring the people who do not have the technical knowledge but can support other ways to build the structure of one planet, one nation, one race. We work collectively. There are now so many people in the background putting their coils on the internet, teaching each other. We see the establishment of the Cash Foundation in Germany. This morning around 12 o'clock, one o'clock European time, we start, and we started the establishment of the Cash Foundation uh, French section of the Canadian uh, sector. The foundation does not belong to no one and is not made of one anymore. You are developing it, you are structuring it, and from today, where we close the 2015 on the Christian calendar, from tomorrow, we will be still the same. We'll still develop the technology in different names, in different colors, in different nationalities, which they do not exist. It is beautiful when we see the Christian, the Muslims, the Jews, and every other belief are working together to build up systems. We have already become one faith. We already have become one nation and we already have become one planet. 
when we saw the first, uh, what I call the Magraph systems, beyond the boundary of the house, in the test, where the people were present, I looked at it and I said, if they could understand what this means, when we set up the star formation and we spoke about the diamond structure and we showed the diamond in center of the quartz i explained to you that the fields will expand and if we have so many we achieve what we need when we looked at the structure of the fields when the people went out of the house and they could see and they say that they could see the fields beyond the house, the same color as what was in the house, which is a bluish color. I said to myself one thing, a little reactor in the room has expanded beyond. And now, if we can repeat the same structure in one million, in 100,000 houses around the planet, all these blue fields atmosphere plasma will link up to each other and we create that condition which is peace we bring the blueness out of the surface of the planet into the atmosphere of the planet and this is what i said because it's made from the co2 which is the emotional part of the body of the man and the man who made it, and the other two men who are making it, and they are in that position, because they have a peaceful soul, they are interacting, and they will reach each other. And then we change the breathing apparatus of this planet, what we said, the peace. People will walk within the next few months, not knowing why we made these arms, what are we going to do with it? Why? do we need to do these kind of jobs? When, in essence, you build up a system, you create a plasma which goes beyond the boundary of the house, and the intention of the plasma is peaceful. And if we link enough of them, as we said, then we change the whole atmosphere of this planet. And when I looked at the picture, I asked Wins to show it to me again yesterday. I wanted to see confirmation of it. Because in the heat of the process, we were trying to get things sorted to see what the effects are. But with Wins, he showed me the picture. He says, this is the zone where we see the blue light outside, in the, outside the building. It was a confirmation that we are correct. And when we do these things, we do it as a team. We have trusted team amongst us, and we deliver what we have said. We can show you the elusive blue plasma around the building. And the people say when they're walking in the house, they see blue color shape plasma in the house. Is the atmosphere, is that shape, that color. This is how we look inside the spaceship when you make complete it. The blue color is the blue color of the planet Earth. It's an interaction of the nitrogen with its materials, which is oxygen and carbon. You got to remember one thing. Dates is irrelevant. Today is the last day of the Christian calendar, or tomorrow is the beginning of another. One day is connected to another. We don't stop. In the Islamic world, they have no idea what today is. 99% of the Islamic world don't even know what the Christmas is, or what is the New Year. As much as the Christians don't know when is the Eid or the New Year of the Muslims, or the Jews. We are working round the clock. The Keshe Foundation team is working in respect to our time, position, religion, country. And now we achieve what we set out for. Once we adjust the three systems around the world which are working, and manage to balance the fields, will give it a dimension. 
it'll give the physical tangibility of the border, exactly like your nanomaterial and your plasma of the Gans, or the matter state of the copper. We are in that state. We will achieve it within next few days or weeks. And once we are 100% in the position to show, not to create mayhem, we'll go live on it. The beauty of it is, with the new systems, we try not to use any electric currents anymore, we only use plasma energy. So, we are making an independent energy, and the people who've done it, who've been testing in the Innovation Center, here, in the other places, they all say, the plasma, when you use the nano-coated material, and the GANS, has, shows its power, is more powerful than the electric current flow. This is where we're going, and within the next few days or weeks, you will see the first spaceship. The spaceship will be immediately in its structure, be repeated in number of the countries before we show in one place. We put position things that it can be done, that the number of people around the world can produce it. We know who and people who are in the stage of breakthrough will contact you. We ask you to adjust your systems, and then in adjusting, simultaneously we'll show in three or four different nations that it cannot be blocked. This is the way it will operate, this is the way we've done our teaching. Maybe three people have achieved it, but we allow at least five to ten groups around the world, collectively repeat what has been repeated, that it can be shown in all locations at the same time. That the technology cannot be stopped, and the space opens to all men at the same time, irrespective of the colors. We have seen, with a lot of shame, the same people who have started the Third Reich in Germany, making fun of the Keshe Foundation, which is investing heavily in Africa. Your times are finished. The division between colors and races, the way you started the First and Second World War, and you're hoping to create the Third World, is finished. The Blacks, the South Americans, the New Zealanders, the Chinese, the Japanese, the Asians and the Europeans, will run at the same time that everybody gets the same. And we make sure of that. And this is how the Keshe Foundation works. We have a jewel in the Keshe Foundation, what I call people like Alex, like Harman. One black, one Armenian, one American, one Russian, one living in London, one is based in Nigeria. We have a beautiful man like Benjamin, who's opening the Spaceship Institute of the Ghanaian government inside. Ghana and uh, Nigeria will be the jewel in the crown of the humanity for Africa. And a lot of people in Germany cannot see it. And these are the people who live in Belgium and Germany who are trying to push this, the racism. But the beauty of it is, most of these people, we see who started opposing the Keshe Foundation. These are the people who were born in Africa in the wider skin. The same thing. We saw the man in 1940s, 1930s, who was a Jew, born out of the Jewish house, killed more Jews. To cover their own, uh, what they call, origin. I had to get the declaration very recently. The ones who are damaging us most, and the ones who attempted to uh, murder us with poisoning, they were both born in Congo, and both raised in Belgium. Both ashamed of where they came from, and used by those who understand how they can abuse these people. From today, we finish with them, they're gone. And we show how we will deal with this situation. We pray for them. We elevate their souls, that's the only thing we can do. Let me tell you one thing. 
going back on the structure of a lot of people asking, how can we change things medically, because we want to see the changes. I promised to the opening of the French Cash Foundation last night, that I'll disclose something today for a lot of you. The disclosure, unfortunately we don't have access to cameras because of the internet linkage, but we repeat it in the next session next week. A lot of you have the problem or would like to see how you can change things, how you can bring things about in a way that you can support ill people. There is something I have to explain before I go to this. And I spoke about this before. Death is not the end. It's the beginning of a new cycle. When the man's fear goes away from him, that with closing his eyes to this physical world, the end will come, and he'll pay any money he has to make sure that he can stay alive, to have more, one more breath, where he doesn't understand there is more pleasure of existence on the other side, when you finish with the physicality, till you don't understand this, that there is no end, you will suffer a lot. If you want to extend your life or living, that is your decision. But, the whole object of existing in any dimension is to live at peace, without what you call pain, without suffering. And part of reduction in suffering, or at least elevating the pain, is to understand the process of the plasma technology, because your body is made of a plasma. This is what our job is. Man, one day, will finish with the existence in the shape of the body of the man. Christ blesses his name, which is his uh, birthday this week, did not last physically more than 30 odd years. So was the name of Bob. Both taken the same way. So was, bless his name, Muhammad. None of them have a state, even though they were prophet of God. Physicality has no dimension, has no meaning in the world of creation. What you, in essence, create and live, and what you allow others to live with counts. A lot of you suffer from cancer, a lot of you suffer from different diseases, the new plasma technology has opened a lot of hope for a lot of people that they'll find a solution that they can exist longer in the matter state of physicality of this planet. Ask yourself one question, if all our forefathers could have lived, was there any space left on this planet for us to live all together at the moment? If all the seven billion at the moment, and the billions and billions before us, stay on and be on existing, what is going to happen to this planet? We change position to accommodate a new life. We change position to allow to venture into a new dimension. So, don't look at the structure, for survival through Keshe Foundation and the plasma technology. We give you the point of comfort. We give you the condition of the comfort. You have to hold on one second. Can you carry on one second in the background till I sort this out here, please? Vince? Okay, just show a video, whatever, or you want to discuss, I'll come back on that, we can go on the screen. Okay, is there any uh, particular um, things anyone would like, any particular items anyone would like to bring up at this point, to fill in at this moment? Hint, hint. 
maybe to recap anything from this year, um, any particular pictures or videos that s stood out for folks that would like to uh, like to put up. Here. Rick, this is Robert from Utah. Hi, Robert. How you doing? Hi, Robert. How you doing? I'm well. How are you? Good. 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 Um, I just wanted to say I just started nano coating on my stove, actually, and it's working the best of anything that I've done so far. It's very <laughs> easy to control the heat as long as you watch it. <laughs> yes, I've nano coated several uh, of my cooking pots by accidentally allowing the <laughs> contents to evaporate and it's, a, it's quite amazing some of the coatings you can get at high temperatures when a stainless steel pan gets red hot for example and it's got um, oh some sort of um, organic substance that ends up being just black charcoal at the end of it such as jam works really good and uh um, um, some uh, mango that I did the other day and that it went dry and they burned really good so the sugars when they uh, melt um, on the bottom of the pan as it heats up unattended uh, they first uh, uh, tend to melt and then they caramelize they'll turn sort of a brown color and then they turn black as uh, things get hotter and evaporate and burn. And uh, what's left on the bottom is essentially a nano coating, a carbon based nano coating. It would be very interesting to see the exact structure, of course. And um, I know from experience, it definitely becomes one with the pot and it's so hard to get off. And I've uh, been trying some different things like uh, vinegar and salt and letting it soak and that kind of thing. But uh, basically, it's uh, a lot of scrubbing to get the uh, to try to get that nano coating uh, off of a, a, a pot. And of course, um, we do have um, pots from ancient times that have been essentially nano coated um, over fire, fire nano coating. Um, and I wonder sometimes about how it affects the uh, even the outside of the, of the pot, um, all black from the, the coating. And it could be from several generations of um, over, you know, hundreds of years in some cases of coatings on these uh, on our um, cookware. <clears throat> okay. Um, what else about that? Anybody have any comments, questions, opinions? Uh, can I ask? Oh, there we go. go ahead. Okay. Sorry, can't hear you there, Mr. Cash. Or oh, is the audio bad? Oh, I have it back. It's back now. Go ahead. Yeah. In the pictures, you have a stacker of oranges. Who is this group? Who are they? Um, these, these red uh, units here on the right side, yeah. you mean? It's the, the Shenzhen. Shenzhen uh, uh, group um, uh, it's a Chinese group of course uh, it's the same group as we see on the left side here or in the center there now and I haven't heard too much from them other than I have the uh, uh, those pictures there's one other picture I can bring up of their um, the way they produce these units, and it yeah. shows them heating a heating oh. one of the coils. 
Yeah, because it's very beautiful the way they've done it. Uh, uh, is which puts a meter in front of it with a meter. The meter in front of it. Seen one somewhere that they put a what do you call it? The, like a meter you have at home uh, on the wall from the government. Mm -hmm. they, they units in somewhere. Hmm, not sure. They do have a, it shows in the picture in the center there, um, the fellow's holding a unit that seems to have some sort of meter. Or yes, I believe that was the Chinese group that did that. Okay. Is that the one? I believe so. Maybe we can add to the knowledge, if you have followed the teachings of um, a few weeks especially, uh, that uh, by rotating the center of these units, you can and you should be able to achieve the position of this this is another picture which is in the front with the two coils. Uh, it's from, it from Philippines, we see. The one in front. That looks to be the Chinese section. With the torch. Right. Yeah, that's the Chinese. China. The Chinese, okay. So it's the Sanjiang group. Um, I have a surprise for you, maybe we announce it in time, but uh, uh, we are hopefully due to be in China very soon. This I will inform, uh, this I will uh, explain in time, due course. Uh, we most probably will see you in the center in the coming time. Uh, so, it will be nice to see, but if you can, go a step, one step further, uh, and just put your gravitational coil in the center, in 90 degrees with your magnetical coil. Uh, at this point, you will reach, uh, and when you stack the three on top of each other, and listen to what I told last week, you should be able to create the elusive plasma you've been looking for. And if you can position it in the right way, three base and the center, the way I shown the drawing last week, you should be able to achieve the elusive lift. They're trying to fix my computer while I'm talking to we go back into full blast. Is it okay now? The increase in the speed, okay. So, what it is, what will happen, is if you take the double coils and just rotate the, the gravitational coil 90 degrees into respect to the magnetical you should be able to uh, create three stack, and if you position them, this is it, yes, this picture we see now. You have to make sure that the three cores sit at 90 degrees in respect to the gravitational and magnetical, and when you look from the top, all the three are in line. Then you'll find a full, uh, what we call, hexagonal shape, structure, that the three field forces of the tree, and when you put it in the star formation, three bases, will give you the bottom of your spaceship. And then, if you position this frame which you have, above the, let's say the fourth 
uh, structure above the top of the top reactor, which is, I don't know if I can use option, let me lose my option. Um, and eight. Okay. You need to do this. You put you, the base of the fourth reactor above this line. Can you see the drawing, Rick? Um, we Can you just to, change uh, the color there, Mr. Kesh? It's a little bit light on that back. Is, yeah, uh, it's, okay. I can barely I'll see it there. I'm trying to think on it. Um, uh, thank you very much. It won't come with the color. The color thing will thicken the line. No, no, man. Okay. Thank you very much, Indy. Thanks for your help. Uh-huh. Okay, that's perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. The, I'll try to do it here. This is the line, if you can see it. I'm going to change the color to the blue. This is the blue. This color. Your third system, or the fourth system, has to be on this line. Above this line. So, you keep three, and then you allow the fourth one, the bottom base, this one, of your fourth one, has to be at this level, minimum. So, what you create, I have to get out of this, how do I get out of this? Um, uh, can you remove this picture? I'm trying to get access to drawing. Oh, sh sure, yes. Um, let me just stop the share. You can do a screen share. Okay, what I'm going to do is, uh, I want to go to screen share, but I have to be able to use whiteboard. Okay, what you have to understand is this. You have your three stackers stacked up over each other. I'm not such a good drawer, doesn't matter, we can back with it. You make the other three stacker here, one here and one here, and then your fourth stacker should be leveled somewhere, the height of these in the middle, somewhere here. These three will give you the structure of this side of your spaceship. These three will give you the structure of this side of your spaceship. These three, between this here and here, will give you the front. And in reality, if you look, the three in the base here will give you the shape of the floor. So what you're gonna get is this. Flat with this shape. That's why the color and the structure of the spaceship is flat bottom and a big curvature on the top. Because these three at the bottom here are on the same horizontal level. This one on the top has created a field which is above this level. So it pushes it up. But as I said before, to have a perfect system, here, you need to stack up two systems. One, three, separately, and then another three on the top. This gives you the best result for a time till you understand how to stack up. So, the structure, if I can go on camera, let me see if I can share camera. Um, Caroline, 
you have to remember two o'clock. Uh, I'm trying to, how do I get to camera? Uh, I close with this. I close. This. There. Let's start my video. No, I don't need it. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to get this sorted here in the background. But I can use. Uh, I've asked to start your video, so you should be able to just click on it or use the bottom video. I know I can't get rid of my screen here. Uh, I have a problem. Uh, okay, no. Where do I go from here? Are you on Zoom? I am on Zoom. I think I am on Zoom. Okay. So, do you see the bottom mute and start video buttons on the bottom? No, I side. lost them on the screen with a lot of boxes on it. Oh yes, it should be. You have to click at the top. It go into full screen on that on that window. Okay, I'm there, but I'm trying to. Okay, I've got what I wanted. I'm trying to get on the camera on the zoom. Yes. So down at the bottom, you should have the controls now. Correct. Wait. One second. Let me see. It tells me I am on the Zoom. Yeah, let me come in. No, this. It wants me to leave the meeting. I don't understand why. Yeah, make sure you don't click the X. Click the full screen button. I have done that. It's okay, and then also make make sure you're in gallery view. Maybe gallery view will be able to help you. No, or... it says, do you want to leave this meeting? No, click I no. I say cancel it, yeah, but it doesn't allow me to. The minute that the witness says, do you want to leave this meeting? Join the meeting? No. I'm going to minimize this and see where it goes. I, I'm useless with these things. I'll click the ask to start video button so a window should pop up that you can just say click start my video. I just want the camera to come on. It doesn't come on. It's a problem. Yes, you should have a window that pops up that says start my video and you can click on start my video. This is the start of the video, but switching between the applications based on it's useless. I've got out of it somehow. Uh, getting a start of a window eight, I don't want this. How do I get out of this one, guys? Okay, so at the bottom of the screen on the taskbar, you should have the zoom. I don't icon. have a taskbar. It's gone into getting a start of a window eight. <laughs> that's definitely not where we want to be. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly where I don't know how to get out of it. So if you move your mouse all the way to the bottom, I think the taskbar should come up. It's not coming up. Uh, no. Yep, it's coming up here. Okay, so now you should have the zoom icon, which is the round blue and white icon. What is round blue? Oh, and this one is, I was on the zoom. Okay. Okay, what it says on the zoom, we got one. How am I gonna do this? This is where I want to be. Let's get this opened up. No, I want to start the video. Okay. Great. Okay, we are back on. We go on the logic window. Okay, can you see the picture by any chance? We can. Okay, you can see the pen. How are we gonna increase this one? Okay. What I'm trying to explain, if it's okay, you can see, we are too far. It was better before, we leave it as that. Okay, now it's come on. Okay. I'll go that way, I see more. 
have a cancel here. Okay. Don't know what to do with this. Okay. What we're trying to explain is this. You have your base reactors, what we did as a star formation. What you need to do is to build is this upside down? This is the top. Do you see to the top or the bottom this one? That's the bottom for us. It's, you have to turn the camera around. Jesus. We're going to go back through the same process. Okay, how are we going to do this? Is this good? You getting there? Yeah, getting much better. Getting much better. We got a little wood to take it. Can hold it. Yeah. Is it better? We have to come out with too much. It's the right way around. It's the right way around. You know, I don't see it's looking that way. Yeah, but you can't do that. It was upside down before. So go. If you go, take this out, please. We go across carefully. We don't have a problem. Can we go crazy? No, just leave it. We go when it falls, but it's good. Let's see, at least we see it correctly. Okay, now it's correct. Uh, yeah, a little blurry, but uh, pretty close to the paper. We can lift it up. Okay, better now? Yes, we can see the squares. Okay. Now, what we have to do, sorry about this, we are not in our usual position, so we have to live with the stepmother as it is. Um, so what we have, what we create, is this formation. And the three layers of this, this formation will give us the bottom shape of the craft. Here, you need to stack up at least, at least, if this is the center of your system between the three bays, a double stack up which starts at the top. So, what you get is this dome shape. And this is what is important. Can I, can we lift this up? I have a very small picture to work with. Just needs to be lifted up a little bit. A small box that we can lift it up. So, what we had, and we've seen it in simultaneously in two, three different locations of testing, people who have made this structure with their power system, the background power systems, with the central coil. They have achieved to see the elusive blue plasma. When you put your systems in this coordinate, and you see the, as some of you have seen, and you see the shimmer of the blue, is not a white clear room where you are, or the space you're testing in a garage, some of you know what I'm talking about, and those of you who are testing it in a uh, fear of uh, if it flies off, it's not going to go uh, through the ceiling, you're testing it in the garden, you will see this blue shimmer. And then silverish blight. When you see this, why you can't see the boundaries of your, what I call the craft, is because these units, need adjusting. These units, 
the position of the inner core, or what we call the gravitational coil, needs adjusting. Your magnetical coil has already radiated out. It's your gravitational, which has to bring the fields together at the boundary, that it creates the physical structure, or what we call matter state. Then you will see a physical craft. And some of you are days away from this. At least two of you are days away from this. I was teaching uh, somebody who's very uh, close uh, a couple of days ago how to solidify the structure. You need to adjust your three reactors in a very a specific way that they look and they stand like this. So, one creates the magnetical fields and the other one creates, sorry, one creates the gravitational field and the other one creates the magnetical fields. And the interaction of these three will give you the elusive craft. Two of you are on the verge of achieving it. One of you has not managed to bring the fields together properly. But, as we know, and we recorded, you are shaping, and you've seen the blue plasma condition. The blue plasma you see in the environment you're testing, is the interaction of your plasma with the nitrogen available in the room. It's for you to bring, and just, it needs very, very little adjustments. Very, very little adjustments will create the elusive boundary. As I told you, uh, to all of you who are in that position, you'll find yourself inside your own craft. You are the man, standing and watching. If you don't feel in a position of confidence, all you need to do is just to move one of these units sideways. You disturb the field. Do not play with the plasma strength. Because if you do not know what you are doing, you could be lifting, then landing, or descending, and being half block. I always teach you, when you reach a point of breakthrough, and you are, a number of you are in the verge of breakthrough. And I know more people are testing, building the course as fast as they can. You need, minimum, five sets of coils of three. You can do with five single coils as well. If you have five coils, you built five coils, you should be able to achieve the same kind of results, but in a very softer way. As I said, and I teach all the three people, four people now, the same way is when you have your base coil, and you have your top core. This is a repetition of what we thought last week, but it seems that some people, some of you did not understand it. You connect your magnetical and gravitational to each other. And you make sure that your gravitational connects in the right order to the magnetical or gravitational as you choose. Remember what I use the word very specifically. Make your system flexible enough that you can add the magnetical of the top to the gravitation of the bottom or you can make 
the magnetical of the top to the magnetical of the bottom, to each one of them separately. This way, if you understand, you dictate in next step, the direction of your motion. You add directly from the top to magnetical, or to gravitational, or you feed directly to the gravitational, that you descend. But, in that position, you never lose the structure of the craft. Caroline, can you find a way we have to go up? It's too narrow for me to work. So, in so many ways, while now that a lot of you are in a position to move up, you are in a position to create all field forces directly into the center. Some of you are testing a new uh, dimension, which some of you have brought your single coil, rotating coils, the coils you made a few months ago, and you are placing it in the center of your a stacker unit. Be careful how you put it and where you position it. You want to move up? Yeah, that's perfect, thank you very much. I move out of the way that I can move this way. That's perfect, thanks Karen. So, what you will see, if you increase the magnetical, to magnetical, you increase gravitational to gravitational, or magnetical to gravitational, you increase the power of descent, or ascent. Be aware, that, any plasma you achieve, in this, is totally harmless to your body. Because, of a number of reasons. First of all, you created the plasma, out of, I have moved something out, I have to go back. You have created the plasma, out of the matter state of this planet. And your body is, in the matter state of the Gans of this planet. So, there is no harm. Any kind of field which is released in this system, is what you naturally are used to in the atmosphere you are breathing in. Your body only takes from this environment, what it needs. I've explained to the people who are building these systems, which are not using any further, what I call electric vibration of electron current. If you develop the battery unit, the way we thought in the past teachings, for each system independently, you will use everything in a plasma state. So, you don't have the electron vibration, which can damage physical body. The reason you see radiation damage through X-rays, gamma rays, is because it's created out of the matter state. If you create X-rays, gamma rays, or whatever radiation, in a plasma state, your body only takes it if it needs it. You cannot create damage. Because your body takes what it needs. To the same effect, this is what I've been teaching, the support groups and the people we work with in the background. When you make your a split batteries, or a split capacitors. You have a central system in the middle, 
and you have put some GANS material, and then you have put some paper, and then you have put, let's say, aluminium to wrap, and you inserted it in this coil, which is the outer coil, to it come to itself. Take one coil and put it out to load, to go to your stacker unit, here, and take another low, another spring, and load it back into the base of your capacitor. If you don't use aluminium, or you just use a plain aluminium, or anything else, you create a capacitor composite battery system. What I called last week with you, that you create a couple of weeks ago about the split capacitors, you can add a nano-coated aluminium or titanium as the wrapping around this center nano-coated material. Make sure this film is nano-coated. If you nano-coat this material, which now, if you go like to the Alex system, he uses the aluminium foil, nano-coat the aluminium foil. Take the paper out of the equation. You can still keep the paper in, because paper from the material which is made, is already in the Gans state of weakness. Then, when you put your, what I call, Gans in between as you roll, and your coils are nano-coated already, this structure will work totally in a plasma condition. You have no more matter state. Even though your aluminium foil created a condition for containment of the Gans itself, now, the matter state here is not a matter anymore. It works totally in a plasma state. So, for the first time, now that we are reaching the position of lift, you have to learn how to make a real plasma condition battery or energy source. You had the center beam, nano-coated. I wish I was in this, I could use the board in the center. So, this is nano-coated, the way we had. You added the GANS on it. Then, you added the nano-coated, let's say, uh, aluminium or titanium. And then, you have put your, what I call, I don't have another color here, but you have put your coils on it. This is your coils which is over it. And then, you have put another coil, which is feeding back to the base, or of the system of your battery. This is the first time you see a full plasmatic battery condition. This is playing both the capacitor and a battery storage. The capacitance will come from this end, and the battery part, energy part, will come from this end. The only difference is, up to now you use non-nano-coated, now you nano-coat your aluminium foil or whatever you use to coat it. Because this is nano, in a plasma condition, nano coated, you have a GANS, you have a nano material, and two different structure. You have to make sure this film here, which you wrap, is not the same as the wire you use, that you have a difference in the strength. So, you have a split capacitor, battery energy source, and is this kind of system, 
which you have to use to energize your stacker units for a space technology. In a coming time, then you have to teach yourself how to control the energy output from here. And the energy output control here, the best way to be done is as following. I call this, this unit, let's say A. What you need to do is the continuity and stability of the energy. Continuity or stability of the, what you call plasma strength difference, and then continuity of the flow of the plasma. So, you have to do such a structure. We call a frame with four A's in it. You put four of these structures in a parallel condition in one frame. Then, you make these in series, if I call this structure B, you put three Bs, minimum three Bs, in series that this power your system as a normal power supply. This process will give you a lot of benefits and flexibilities. What does this mean? Is that here you guarantee the potential difference, here you add the current of the plasma flow increases and increases. So, you can dictate in your process, if you want to have a weaker current, you disconnect from here to here, if you want a stronger, you connect here, if you want very strong, you connect from here to here. But, as we are going through this process, you have to remember another point. In this structure, if you remember, we said you put a GANS, as you always do, you put a GANS on the tissue, now you put the GANS between the nano layer and nano layer. You can play a very straightforward game, and that is, When you have the central beam, and then you put the GANS, or you put your paper here to cover the GANS, and then you have still the GANS going through the paper itself anyway, then you have your, what I call, the nano-coated wrapper, which creates a condition of separation and storage. Don't forget, when you look at this from the top, you have this, you have the center, then you have the GANS, and then you have your nano-coated film. And don't forget, this thing will look like this, because you roll it inside. And then, on top of it, you put the coil of your nanocoated coil, which comes up, or another one which goes down. Now, before, at this stage, when you are putting the GANS in between, now you can play a very straightforward uh, move, which is, to take this GANS, which you are placing here, and make it of the composite, of, let's say, zinc, CH3, apple essence, orange, meat, and everything else you want. So, you can make one of each four of these cells, one for vegetable, one for meat, one for whatever, whatever you need. And, when 
you connect your system to your Magraph stock, which is here, placed here, this, if we call now, this a structure C, then this is your structure C here. These are all structure C's. Don't forget the energy from your power supply, battery plasmas, now are powering your, what we call the crystal structure, Magraph systems, or your coil systems. So what happens, the energy of orange will flow through your reactor. The energy of meat will flow to your reactor. Because you decided this stacker C will have amino acid or whatever in it. And as you remember, in all our teachings in the past, and what we saw with others, and you have tested yourself, when you had a cup, and you put an orange, you made the gans of the orange, the energy of the gans of orange was transmitted, and you tasted the orange, or the banana, or whatever. So, because the field transfer. Now, you understand, the structure, how you feed yourself with the space. And this energy of orange, or vitamin C, will last for centuries. Man will not go hungry in a space. The reality is, that if you brought everything together, Arwen can tell you, we have made gans of ibuprofen, we have made ganses of lemon, we have made the gans of tea, we have made gans of aspirin. When you add this gans, or the ganses of you like, in these, you dictate if you have a, let's say, a pain, inflammation, you don't need to take the, uh, the, uh, the anti-inflammatory. You already built the GANS of ibuprofen here. And in the further teachings as it comes, if you can measure the strength of the ibuprofen, for example, which gives anti-inflammatory, you don't need to put that there. You can release the energy of that, according in the combination of how you set your power supplies. So, in interaction with power supplies, now you become totally independent of food source, medicine source, in your, in your space travels. Because don't forget, here, ibuprofen has a specific strength, which within the body of the man, operates to remove field energies. You already have a plasmatic ibuprofen, you call it a pen pen. So, if you understand that measure, this measure allows me to get rid of the pain of cancer, or this measure allows me to get around the camp of burn, immediately you can adjust. So, this way you become independent of any matter state, now that you can measure the strength of them. This is what I told you, I'll teach you everything, that those of you who understand, are ready to take off in the right way, but when you take off, you have to understand the control, you have to understand how to feed yourself, and how you can increase it. How you can put a number of Bs next to each other, or a number of Cs in different combination, will give you the strength you want. There is no excuse for man to be on this planet, and suffering the way it does, from now on. We are none to blame. We come across the process of teaching and learning over centuries. And now we have reached the pinnacle of science. We 
we understand the work of the universe the way it is, not the way we want it to do in the matter state. If you start putting these together, understanding this, I have given you more or less a full spectrum of living without the state of matter, but using the state of matter to create the environment of a plasma which one leads to the other, and one brings into the other point. This is the secret of creation. This is the message of understanding the knowledge of the universe. And it's for you how to do it, and how you want to achieve it. As I said, we have to make the power units, we have to make the pen units. But some of you, in the coming weeks, will be passengers of a space without the shadow of a doubt. I salute your souls, I hope you'll find peace in the space. Understand, once you achieve by accident or through control, to achieve, to position yourself beyond the boundary of this planet, there is an ethos of peace. There is no reason for any of you who have listened to all the teachings and understand and understood the process to be shackled down with hunger, with motion, with energy or position on this planet. You have the whole process. You always looked at the copper or iron, but none of you stood still to understand this, these are the beauty of being on this planet. Where in the space we have to wait for billions of years for the fields to come together to create the environment and the condition that a certain condition of plasma to come together to call it a star or a planet or whatever. On this planet because of what you've been taught in past couple of months, in past couple of years, through the development of the nanomaterial of the structure, and the gas of the same structure, now you don't need to wait billions of years. Now, you dictate the condition of the creation. This is what we said, the completion of the promise of the Prophets of God. Now, it's in your hand, with the beauty, that you can turn it and change it according to what you want. You don't need for billions of years to wait for fields and condition to be created. You use the solidity of the matter state to create the condition which you want in plasma state. And you have the total freedom. We will lose some of you in the coming weeks and months through testing. But not knowing, but mistakes. And it's been the same. Go back to White Brothers, go back to the first test of cancer technology, the first, even donkey people who tried to get on the donkey the first time, or the horses, they fell off them and they killed themselves or they broke something. We are in the same process. You have, if you understand, I have given you the boat of Noha. It's you who has to decide how he is going to utilize it. There is no government who can stop you, and there is no one who can block you from achieving to become man of a space. Except, don't forget, it's you who changes the ethos. by your thoughts. I was going through a video with Vince, from a test that yesterday, of last week's, and he got it straight away. He said, when we don't see the hand, is the intention, you see what's happening above the head. And when people start walking, the intention and field force has changed. He has understood fully.
if your intention is correct, you create a different field of environment. You become a GANS part of the structure. So, if you create the wrong field release, you create a different environment, and that environment will not be for what you want, and you'll find your own demise. So, you are in charge of the condition, not the condition in charge of you. And we've seen it, hopefully, when we do this in more details, and uh, our team, like Rick and Mins and others around, who record these things, with different groups as we bring them in, you will see it. How you have a structure, and instantaneously the structure is not there, because the intention has changed. From today, is the last day of 2015, in Christian calendar. And tomorrow, the beginning. And you have a beginning to start with. Get the wires out of the walls, make your coils, single coil still gives you the same. If you make the battery for it correct, you don't need to connect the power of the wall. Make a tree stacker, that it gives you the condition of creation of a solidity of the fields, which is what you call tangibility, and you are all man of a space, every single one of you. You are people listening from every corner of this planet. No knowledge has been dispersed so beautifully, so balanced across the planet, on this planet ever, maybe in the universe. And all of you, does not matter where, you don't like to be in Africa, build the system, understand, understand the position of gravitational magnetic field of Moscow, London, Washington, Beijing, anywhere. You will be there within seconds. Protected. None of you need to be trained to be astronaut. There is no water astronauts, we call them motions. Man originated. Magnetic Gravitational Field System. We travel out of this planet on the one name, not multitude of names. There is no astronaut, there is no cosmonauts, they don't know you, you come from the blue planet. I'm a human. Now it's in your hand, I've taught you more or less everything you need to know. But don't get fooled by the methods you use to achieve what you achieve in plasma. They are the tools, and the beauty of the matter state is that you can create the environment and control it. You have the full potential of achieving everything in the universe. There is no need, and there is no reason for man not to achieve it. What you have, and I explained before, with your coils, which is double twisted inside each other, you have created both the gravitational and the magnetic field, not only internally, but externally too. So, wherever you are, the way I told you to make the coils, double coil inside, you have continuous equal gravitational magnetic field, and if you put CO2 on it, and you put zinc on it, you have connected the emotion of the man to it, on a stable condition. And you'll find out, you'll become a very peaceful man. And if you mix your ganses the right way, and even on different levels, and different coils, and different cords, you'll find out, you have the full spectrum of whatever man needs on this planet, in a space, that you feel comfortable that you don't create new wars in space. <coughs> Any questions? Thank you, Mr. Keshe. Mr. Keshe, this is, oh, sorry. Go ahead, sorry. I was going to ask if, um, if you could describe a way to make the hydrogen gas that you've spoken about, or if this is something that you are wanting us to find on our own. Well, 
why do you need hydrogen gas? Um, I read on one of the uh, websites where you were talking, it was from the Keshe Foundation, uh, where you were saying that we would need hydrogen gas in order to travel the universe. I, if I remember correctly, it was because the hydrogen is in the entirety of the universe. It was on the Keshe website, though. In the structure which you have done, you already carry it. And that's a minimum common denominator. Okay, great. Awesome, thank you very much. You understand, when you make the CH3, when you made the CONH, When you have the interaction of any element, the minimum release as a plasma is a hydrogen. And that's why hydrogen is the essence of the creation in the space you need it. But this way, the way we went through the development of the GANS, you already carry it. And this is the essence of the energy. Most of the energy which you release in a field, the strength will come through the hydrogen of the structure. You will understand in the coming time. Yes, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I was uh, using carbon to try to, to get down as far as I could, but I will stop doing that now. Thank you. You already have it with a GANS of CH3, with a GANS of... Even if you make the GANS of water, you already have it. A lot of you have made GANS of water, but you're not realizing it, how? Any other question? I was wondering if anybody else has a question. There's a, a viewer here that has their hand up, uh, Libby, and I'll let them uh, ask a question here. I'll come through in just a second. Okay, Libby, you can open your microphone if you like. That's an accident. I'm so sorry. I pushed the wrong button. But thank you, Mr. Cashy, everybody. <laughs> okay. Um, see, there's other questions here. Um, well, Tim asked, uh, how much GANs do you use on, on the capacitor battery? How thick should the GANs be? You mentioned uh, rolling up the aluminum foil, the nano-coated aluminum foil. Um, I'm assuming it would be a thin, a thinner layer. Would that be correct? It doesn't matter how thick or how thin. Okay. You'll find out because of the nano layering, only what is needed will be held. If you put your uh, capacitors or the batteries in a system where you can see the field interaction or its aura, you soon understand. Uh, that the energy is not much difference. It's just it gives you a more powerful system because of the mass. Let oh. me go, go back on one simple thing. Instead of making these uh, three stackers with two coil inside each other, split your stackers into one coil vertical, one coil horizontal, what I call magnetical and equator coil. And then you'll test with the weaker system. So, in a way, if you look at it, one system, one coil, 
can be as powerful as putting the three together. But at least, it gives you a starting point to build the first spaceship. In this way, you will change a lot of things. In uh, yesterday's uh, uh, Rick's workshop, the guy uh, was a guy that if you can put the link up, they can listen to it. Where he says, I never touched a single voltmeter and single screw or whatever. And I made such a crude system, but I get 80% efficiency. Where with the system power units at the moment, you are 33%. Let me explain to you, in the coming time, we'll release a new power unit, and at the same time, we'll most probably send you, once we completed research, the additional small unit. This additional small unit, if we can complete it the way we think, will become your power source. Where, at the moment, you plug your system into the power supply, this a small unit, will become the point of the energy supply, in a plasmatic condition. It is based on the split um, battery condition, but powerful enough to create enough energy that it can be used by the system, to generate the condition of the plasma as you need, for the space reactors. So, in a way, you feed your system directly from the box to each star formation, to each leg, or what you call base reactor. We don't need to rely on anything else in motion and in structure. The energy supply is completed. And by adding the system of the split coil, we have managed to create a new power supply system. The next step, as I said, will teach you the process of uh, how to control, how to bring about a full control of a system that you do not overdo it. But please, I advise you, remember a few things. When you set up your a stacker unit, or a single unit, make sure you have at least 30 to 50 centimeter gap from the Earth level. So, your systems have to sit not on the ground, or on a solid table, connected to nothing. You try to make a position that they are locked like on a tray, but in this tray, is at least free, is not, does not sit on the flat like these papers on the table. The reason for it is, that your fields coming from everywhere, has a free interaction, within plasma, does not go through a matter state up. The other point you got to remember, is don't forget, that connecting your bases together, and connecting your bases to your top set. Everything has to be nanocoated, as I was explaining yesterday, or the day before, when you made your stacker units, complete connections with the plasma supplies, batteries or whatever, just leave it in a caustic, steam caustic for 10 minutes, that you cover any possible scratches and no material being removed, that you have to deal with the matter state. 
what I call the final act before you tie it up together. You saw yesterday in one of the people who were showing the uh, the systems in uh, Rick's teaching, a beautiful way to, to connect. Now you have the lines and then you twist them together. He does a very beautiful job. He takes the two line and takes the other line and twists this one around here and twists this one around there. Continuity of flow of the plasma. It's beautiful to see how people develop simple systems. You just bring them together and you turn this one around here and you turn this one around here. Little techniques makes a lot of difference. In electrical wires, they call that a Western un Union, is a way to join two wires together. Western Union. <laughs> Learn something new every day. Any other connection? Go ahead, Modris. No more question. Oh, sorry, I brought uh, Modris in here. Go ahead, Modris. Hello, Mr. Kish. Hello, everyone. Um, I started working on some uh, some units, and uh, I would like to show, uh, and maybe it's a good idea to to set up in this way. So, I hang them um, in this way. Uh, you Can you hear me? You hear me well? Yes, yes. Uh, okay. So, I, I hang them uh, this way, and uh, they are very stable, so you can shake it, uh, nothing happens. And uh, so, it's very easy to get to if you need to do some work uh, to them. I uh, tell you something before you go further. Yeah, okay. This is wrong. Okay. Very wrong. I was explaining this yesterday to another knowledge seeker. First of all, all the frame you use, because now you work in a plasma condition, has to be nano-coated. All the bars, all the beams, all the wires. Secondly, if you, uh, the way you connected these together now, you have made a connection of mishmash between the gravitational magnetical, and literally your coils are becoming useless. It's like how they're touching here? No, your bands, the here. way you made the bands, yeah. The way your connections, and yeah. You see, the, the problem is, you got to realize, Matter state still is part of the plasma strength. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look, uh, let, let's call the bottom one set one, set two in the middle, set three to the top. All your systems are connected to each other, it's just one piece. The way you should do it, first of all, you've got to nano coat your system. Yes, yes. Secondly, you can do what the strength by strength, all the magnetical together, all the gravitational together. So, if you look at the, you turn around, we need you to turn upside down, the other way around. Can you change the, your picture, sideway? You need to turn it 90 degrees. Are you there? Hello. Hello? Yeah, we're here. I think you may be more just having a problem. Okay. So, what do you look? you got four beams coming down. The way it stands, all gravitational magnetical rings are connected to each other in every shape or form. 
you need to use, for example, one of the options is to use diagonal. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I had to mute everybody because Mo just dropped. Oh, he went out. Okay. I'm going to go on my camera and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, if you look at the structure he had, you have the four legs. And then between these four legs, you have um, a coil. Two coils, which are going either way. What you got to do, for example, you connect the magnetical to these two legs and your gravitational to these two legs. I'm short of color, if I can show it to you, it's easier. So, you're connected here and there, and connected here to here. So, your magneticals does not touch your gravitational. This is one of the options you have. So, the next one, when you have a tube, you connect the same way the magnetical to magnetical to these legs and the gravitational to this leg. And the third one. Do not connect these together. It's a total mistake. And secondly, they need a space equal to half the diameter. So, you need a gap between this and this one. Okay, that was a question that had come up uh, several times, uh, whether the vertical coils needed that um, additional gap between them, like you were just describing. Thank you. The other thing is, when you have your three stackers, and you have your beams here, leave a bigger space here, where you can place your batteries, the one we showed with AVC, as part of the structure. Now you become self-sufficient, independent power supply. You don't need to connect to the power supply anymore. One of the ways I suggested is, if you get a copper tubes, and make a hole. So, this hole is here. And connect your copper tubes in an angle, here, that, in a way, if you look at it, your magnetical makes a frame outside, and your gravitational make a frame inside. You still keep on to the same structure. Gravitational being center, so the two legs of your frame, the magnetical goes the same, and then you put the same with your gravitational at the bottom. You create a total independent unit. So, you can put this anywhere, you just move it, now you carry your battery on board. Then, when it comes to positioning of your star formation, you have everything under one roof. You never had this facility with the coils. You can still power a coil and change the space of the coil if you want but then you can move this back and forth, move it slightly in and out, till you literally, you see the shape, and then you see, oh, this side have a solid wall of the spaceship, but here it's still elusive. You have to move this a little bit that way, till you get part of it there, part, and then you start moving, till you get your spaceship.
don't forget, we go back to the teaching of last week. Here on the top, you are preferred to have two. And then this should sit on a stack that it can be moved again on its position. It's the first time you have the flexibility. But don't forget, you have to follow every step as we went through. The battery, capacitor battery, A, in a way of B, how to stack it, in a way of uh, how you can change it with the amino acid even, to match yours. You can do then the B together to make C, uh, you can make a full power supply system. You have everything now. The only thing is left for you, if you want to do it, to make a system which is not matter dependent. And you don't need that. Who's that? I see a picture of a face there. He's, he wants to, uh, I think, present his uh, reactor combination as some questions, probably. Are you ready for that now, or do you want to present something else there, Mr. Kesh? Hello. I Hello? Asked, is that the Marcel from Germany? I believe so. Um, yes. Hello, can you hear me? Hi, Marcel. Are you Marcel from Germany or Marcel from Holland? No, uh, Marcel from Germany. Okay, Marcel, get in touch with me. I've been looking for you. I couldn't find your link. Go through the webmaster and get in touch with me urgent, please. Okay. Okay, please. Okay, go ahead. Go through uh, Wins. I need to speak with you very urgent. I was looking for your link. Somehow I couldn't find it. Uh, where have I to go? No, no, just after the teaching, contact wins. And uh, I need to speak with you. It's something important uh, that I need to speak with you regarding the Cash Foundation in Germany. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thanks very much. So, um, Marcel sent me some pictures of his Maggrav unit. And we could have a look at those. And uh, is that what you want to comment on, Marcel? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Is that what you wanted to comment on? Was the uh, your Magrav unit, eh? Yes, some question about it. And uh, I would okay. like uh, make, to make a mini Magrav for my eBay. Sorry. First, I have to say my English is not perfect. Sometimes I didn't know the right word, so I hope it works. Okay, now, um, let me get this set up. Uh, just a minute here. Okay, there we go. What are we looking at? Okay, there's... Um, mm. Go ahead, Marcel. Yes, uh, this is my uh, Magraf that I built in Germany um, from, yes, uh, German Baumarkt, I would like to say. It was very cheap, it's running, and it works. What do you mean it works? Pardon? What do you mean by it works? Why, why it working? It, uh, it's working. The unit, unit, it's working. I'm an electronic man, and first I thought it could be work, so I did make some measurements and so on, but the unit is working. But, but do you no, see I reduction in the power? Pardon, I saw, sorry. I said, 
you, what is your reduction in your power with your unit? I have 10% measured on every face. So in, uh, uh, so I have 30% on three faces. I did measure it like you show in the uh, last knowledge seekers or before that. And I got on one face 10% 10% uh, savings. I put uh, some heaters on it and I did it um, too fast. Normally I had, as you say, uh, to wait for around three weeks, but I am uh, can't wait. <laughs> so I did it a little bit faster. First days I put 10 watts only, night and day. And then I put a heater with 400 watts after four days uh, for about 10 minutes and then so on. And after six or seven day, I put 1.2 kilowatts on it, powered it and did compare this with my main uh, Ah, oh, sorry. Um, unit measure unit in the house, but I saw no uh, I, I saw no savings. So then I did it in the way you said in the last knowledge cluster, and I see ten percent savings on one face. So After you that, put the unit at the end and uh, you put all your load before between the meter and the unit yes and i compared uh, write it down and there was 10 percent savings and now i have um, disconnected the unit from my uh, living room to my computer room where i have all my computers my boxes uh, sound speakers and my uh, DSL sets and router and put it on the wall and all things are running. And I leave it now for next month to see if my um, cable gets coated. So let's wait. But I have a next question I want to try to build a mini graph for my e-bike, for my e-bike, and I would like to show you some picture, if I could, if the new coils that I have wound or new design make. Can we? Uh, can I ask you a question? Yes. You said you put a 10 watts, and then you connected a 1.2 kilowatts. No. No, for us, uh, 10 watts, uh, two days, uh, night and day long. It runs, and then on the um, third day, I put 400 watts mm -hmm. on it. Uh, all long day, 10 minutes on, half an hour off, 10 minutes on, so the whole day. And on the next day, when I put uh, 800 watts, and, and then on the day, 1.2 kilowatts. And after that, I put uh, the 1.2 kilowatts around half an hour. So when I sit in the evening, I sit in my uh, living room where my TV is, so it, 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 it gets cold, so I have always a uh, heater. And sometimes I can, with a timer, put uh, it on for 30 minutes. So when it was cold, I put it on and thought, let's run. How? Let's see what, what happens with the unit. So, and it runs perfectly. So and after another day, I thought, okay, I make some measurement, measure, measurement and um, then I have to write it down and make it like you showed in the videos, and I did 
ten percent savings on one on this phase in my living room. And now I run it in my computer room with all the things, monitors, sound, and and, and so on. And norma normally, as an electronics man, electrician man, the unit couldn't work because of the high um, resistance. In the pictures, you can see I measured it in, uh, in, in my factory. I have a, a good, very good uh, fluke uh, tool to measure it. And by the high resistance, normally, as normal electric, it could not work. But in plasma, way you explain in all the videos, it must work. It works the system. So, but now I have a question. I want to make a mini Margraf on my e-bike. And my e-bike e -bike is, is only working on DC. So the idea is I want to make, I have a normal nine volt accu here. Uh, yesterday I did GANS this accu. I opened it, I put uh, a combination of GANS on it, CH3, uh, copper GANS, and put it on it, close it with my special 2K glue, uh, and I, then I want to use this, uh, put this on a step-up converter. It's, a, it's an electronic device where you can uh, step up the voltage from maybe 9 volt to 30 volts with a potentiometer. And this will, and I want uh, to feed this in my new coil to put up the voltage maybe from 9 volt to uh, 27 volts for my e-bike. I have an e-bike that runs on normally 24 volts, but I did tune up it a little bit of uh, 27, so it runs a little bit faster. <laughs> and now I want to make a mini graph as a power source for instead of the normal accus. Um, no, yeah, yes, my, my question is, can I use this for my e -bag? I have made a mini um, Margraf, a mini core, the core is ready, and new coils. I want them a little bit different than in this uh, Margraf. Okay, can I show? What you can do. Let me tell you just before we go a step further. What you can do, is what I call a spiral split uh, plasma batteries. Mm -hmm. What this is, is you, if you can go to share my screen there, you can see it. Can we go back on my full screen, friends? In this, yeah. No, Rick, you got to drop screen share, please. Pardon? Well, there you go. Sorry, thank you. So, what you've done up to now is your, what I call the negative of your split battery or plasma, and you went like this. What you can do, you can make a coil of the center, wrap it with the GANS and nano-coated material, and then split it with a coil, split coil again. So your inner system, you make it to a spiral. Depends how you work with this, you will find a much more powerful system 
in energy development and release. Instead of using a single wire, which you've been using up to now, use a twisted coil inside as negative. Yes, I'm trying this. Yeah, so this will give you a more powerful system. And in fact, you can literally, what we do, we test it, you will see it, is you can even put a single core in the middle, put a spiral, still put a GANS and a, a GANS and a nano-coated material, and then GANS and a nanomaterial again, copper, what do you call it, aluminium or titanium, and then you put another spider on it. So, in fact, you have a three system center. And in all the three, you have to make sure you go on a feedback. What it means, this, uh, I've been out of the picture. You have your center, you put a coil, you can make even this a split coil and feed back, and take this up as one point, nano coat it, put a material on it, and then put a second spiral on it, on top of this. This system will give you a more powerful battery condition that you might use, especially if you want to use it for a powerful DC. So, your system works spiral, nano-coated, with a nano-coated material with a GANS, and then a split the spiral on top of it. This gives you a powerful, more powerful system. And if you want to use a center beam that you connect to it, you'll find out you achieve a huge power supply as a plasma supply battery. This should give you anything up to about, uh, four of them should give you about six to eight volts, and just about, something just, just over two to four hundred milliamps, when you use them as a stacker unit. And you, there is a way you can amplify using plasma, is, um, uh, I will teach you in the coming time. The amplifier, amplifying plasma, not necessarily can be done by uh, the way you do it, you can absorb, accelerate, and stop. And can I it. show you my coil? Yeah. How can I do that? You got to share the screen. Have uh, I do you see how video? You, what you need to do is, uh, you want to share your video, then you need to have the video ready to share first, and then click on the share screen button at the bottom. Uh, I mean live video, on cam. Oh, okay, then it just, I want uh, to then you just yeah. have to start your video. You can't start your video because the ah. has stopped it. Okay, just a second here. There, we'll try that. Okay. Yes. Ah. Okay. Hello, Mr. Cash. Nice to meet you. This is my... Can you see it? Yes. The new design of the coil for my e-bike minimagraph. So, I have to Can you hold it up a little bit? Oh, you use things I use. I use a lot of those water pipes. Yes, because they are fire resistant and perfect for this. Yeah, job, yeah. Yes. Uh, okay, I want to put later, if the call is finished, in that case. And that can I put uh, into my e-bike. You know, yeah, let, let's stop there, stop there, stop there. You know that white piece, what is it? The white piece this? in the middle, yeah. Uh, this is the filled Gantz. It's completed, I have closed it with 2K component. What is it made of? It's copper and CH3 Gantz. Uh, this is um, a normal, um, electric 
Yes, how I call it. Is it P PVC? PVC. PVC, yes, from uh, elect to, to make electrical. Um, yeah. Okay. Unwind this up. Take this out. Instead of the white material you lose there, use like an aluminium pipe, guns coat it, and do the same job. You'll reach yeah. more power. The coils, the, the coil is already guns coated. Yeah, but the, the, the white piece in your hand. Yes. Take that white piece out. Make a, take a, instead of plastic, take an aluminium, or let's say um, even a steel pipe. Okay. Nano coat it and put the guns inside it. And you have to connect the bottom of this to itself that you restore and energize the system. This is draining the system. This is what we call you drain it because you have to make this in two half coils to get a more powerful system. Okay, the, uh, I have two coils, no? One yeah. uh, Margaret, uh, one magnetical and one gra gravitational and go back. One question about uh, the capacitor. I did here is at the end, I did uh, include the capacitor to go from plasma state to matter state. So when I have... You don't need to do that. The system will decide itself. But I need for the e -bake, I need 10 amps. He will give it to you. If his, if his uh, strength is there, he'll give it to you, 10 amps. Okay. In your bike, you're using a DC as a power, but in fact, your system is an ACE, isn't it? It's alternative, that's why it runs. Oh, okay. I think so. So I thought I have to convert uh, the plasma DC and meta DC with the capacitor. So I would like to make the capacitor here and mm -hmm. go out to the e-bike. I would like to um, fill it with normal nine, uh, nine volt battery. So, but uh, next week I get the, the step up converter, so, so I can uh, change the voltage. Maybe I need uh, 27 for my e-bike. I adjust it to 27, feed it in my mini margraph, take the power of the margraph and put it in my e-bike. That's my idea. Yes, but um, what is important is that uh, how much power can you produce with one coil? You need a number of them. And for that kind of thing, you don't need to use such a thick wire. You can go to a thinner diameter, so what do you call it, smaller diameters, that yeah. you can make multiples of them. One of the things which we understood at the very beginning when we did the Coca-Cola bottles, was there's a limit to how many numbers of, uh, uh, what do you call it, how much voltage you can take per line. So, mm -hmm. in understanding that, you have to decide how many amps and volts you're going to take, and make it okay. I thought uh, I thought that, that the thickness of the copper wire is decides how many amps I can get out in the meta state. So this is normal uh, 1.4. In Germany we say uh, 1.5 square root. So yeah, my English is not perfect. Yeah. Uh, so we can use, uh, I can get out on meta state 16 amps. And my bike needs 10 amps. So I thought I, I have to put this thickness because it will, when I use too much, it will melt. Yeah, but if you, you mean the cables from your bike will melt? Or this one? No, th this one, that goes should not out? Melt. No? Okay. Should, if you nano-coat it well enough, it should not melt. Yes, nano-coating is perfect, works. I have some, uh, I make, just some guns here and, and tried. First, I, I started for about three weeks or four weeks. 
early I, I had a, I did um, order a Gans kit about six months or so, and I produced some Gans and. But I forget all this. And then, uh, happily, I saw again some of you Tesla Foundation, and I started again. Because now it's practical. I'm a practical man, not theoretical. I have to build and funneling around. So, um, fire coating is, I think, perfect. I, want, I, I would like to start with uh, this NHO coating, but then I saw a video uh, where you explained that fire coating is uh, still effective, is better. So um, I did everything fire coat and it works perfect. I tried something long firing, uh, small, uh, different heaters, and it works best, I think, fire coating. Okay, thank you very much for thank your you very much. answers. Please, Marcel, get in touch with me through the through Webmaster. I yes. lost your contact somewhere in changing computer somewhere. Um, so I need to speak with you. I was looking for you. I couldn't find you. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you indeed. Thank you, Mr. Kesh. Um, I'm going to teach you something which we right. with Marcel. Um, there is a system you can build, what we call cross batteries. Cross batteries or power supplies are not something which is very well known. The cross batteries is where you take a spiral, And you repeat the same process, this is your outlet. You repeat the same process of nano coating and cables and the rest of it in a split half and half, where you're half all the four feeds to the same base. And you have power from the outer coil, the other split out, where you can dictate, in a way, a system of power supply connected to one center. This has a lot of advantages and is very extremely powerful, but it gives you the beauty with it is the stability of the supply. You don't get that much fluctuation, it's very, very consistent. Because you have your, if you look at it, you have your base coming up, and then you have your four, where your four, four coils or a straight lines, whatever we call it, will, this will feed into one supply, this will feed into one supply, this will do the same, and this will do the same. But at the same time, your second half core will feed to the same base. This is your capacitance. So, somewhere to create a stable output continuously from the four, this is one of the best ways to create a powerful plasma condition power supply. Where all your four bases come to one base, and you work through one base. This is a combination between the parallel and the series. You decide how, but because continuously supply comes from all four, it gives you a very stable uh, power supply. For systems like your bikes and that kind of thing, you need this kind of uh, power supply. Any other questions? Well, yes, of course. Um, um, Luca... It's New Year, don't you want to go to your New Year's party? <laughs> that's, a, 
a long ways away for me still in terms of hours, but uh, some parts of the world it's already New Year's. Oh, so. it's started. Yeah. yeah, it's hard to conceive that it's the same planet, but we celebrate the New Year at different times. It doesn't make sense to me, but... What are you going to do when you're in the space? <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Um, and the sun's there all the time, so do you have a holiday all the time? <laughs> or Maybe, I don't know. It's a holiday time. <laughs> um, Luca, are you there? Let me see. Uh, you know what is funny when you talk about this? I was explaining this to Caroline yesterday. In a Northern Hemisphere, we go in the winter, and the people in the Southern Hemisphere, because it's hot, they come to the North be cooler and then the one in the summertime go to the south to be cooler to be warmer so as a human race we are never happy to what we have doesn't matter where we are mm -hmm. and that's why we travel all the time to find somewhere slightly different even for a few hours or few days and this holiday season shows you a lot of it people from all over the world move for a few days of warmth or cold or plays uh, whatever they like to play uh, and what we're going to do in the space when it's constant temperature and constant pressure and constant everything? Well, well that's life. true. Uh, that most people might get, uh, or a lot of people at least, would get bored with that because they wouldn't get the, what they call the change of seasons that they look forward to, the variety of, you know, cold and warm and so on. So as humans, we tend to to crave that, although some people do just crave seeking the sun all the time as well, so if they could travel... They have a month in Italy around May, which they call a sleeper time, when you change from winter to summer, and people are all asleep here, everybody wants to sleep, lunch time, afternoon, they're all asleep. <laughs> so, would we have a sleeper time in the space? Well, they actually changed the laws in Italy so that the, the stores are shut down in the afternoon so they can have their, their sleep time or their, their nap time. And even the, even the policemen CSI. seem to have nap time because they don't give tickets out during that time of the day. <laughs> yeah, but the beauty is, would we have a siesta in space and how long would it be for? Mm-hmm. Okay, if you, what's the next question? Okay. Um, I'm trying to find Luca. I'm not sure if you're actually there now, Luca. I can't see your name up. Uh, Is you, Brett on the line? Um, I'm see not him? seeing him right now. Has he been online today? I haven't seen him today, no. Wins, have you seen him around? He's in the yeah, he's in the hospital. He's in the hospital. Okay. And trying to raise him. Okay. So okay. Um, how about Sylvester? I know that you had your hand up earlier and we brought you into as a panelist. Uh, would you like to speak? Hello, Sylvester. Let me unmute you. Maybe that'll help. Yes. Uh, yes. Hello. Hi. Yes. Hello. Uh, hello I'm in hello, South. Sylvester. Yes. Uh, good afternoon. Good morning, uh, uh, everyone. Um, it, uh, this is my pleasure to to listen these uh, um, teachings of the last teachings of the year. Lots of interesting and exciting things. Um, I just wanted to. Um, Say thank you for uh, Mr. Cash and for all the group uh, of the Spaceship Institute uh, to make uh, all this beautiful transition possible. Uh, it is amazing what Mr. Cash just introduced to all of us about the, the spaceship. Uh, I was able to watch uh, a few of these uh, videos, Mr. Cash, you mentioned, when uh, uh, individuals able to achieve interesting uh, phenomena about uh, the the spaceship formations of the uh, of the plasma energy and things. So I'm really looking forward uh, uh, to to setting up with with Armin and with the rest of the manufacturing team, uh, the manufacturing uh, groups around the world. So I just would like to say Happy New Year for everyone. 
I'm in mean, uh, South Korea and, and working, uh, setting things up in South Korea as well. Before I was in Hungary, setting things up in Hungary. And uh, God bless everyone. Thank you very much uh, for your hard work. Your holiday time is over very soon, I hope. I'm 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 already working, Mr. Mr. Cash. <laughs> I'm I'm you know you 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 raise the bar very high, so uh, I'm really like that, uh, and I don't have a problem to 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 work uh, because as you mentioned, uh, yes, we have a Christian holiday right now, but uh, you know people just uh, in a Muslim world or in a Jewish world or or in on, on an Indian world or any other religious world, they just is a different. It's just, just the same day. So we are in a plasma calendar, and every day we we have to work hard to to make this beautiful, peaceful transition uh, happen. Um, I'll tell you something very interesting. Uh, <clears throat> when you speak about Korea, uh, uh, we don't mention the name because we know uh, what you call it the the uh, the situation yes. with the people who are trying to misuse our the knowledge. Yes. But yeah, so yes strong in the way we do it. Um, one of the major corporations, one of the major corporations in the world, yes. has, as of last week, appointed uh, seven top scientists for the total conversion of the Keshe Foundation to, to international production. Beautiful. Uh, the, you, you have to fly to them soon, I hope. Uh, but uh, there is a uh, couple of people in the group know who they are. Um, they they have appointed top one of the top um, what do you call it teams in power supply and electronics of the company uh, to start research and development on our plasma technology, and soon they will announce the collaboration. It's one of the household names around the world. They, the one of the divisions tested the system, and now they they have gone to the final stage of the final evaluation for production. And you have to move to that country for a while. It's not very far from where you are. Beautiful. Thank you. So that's a good news for you. Thank you, Mr. Cash. Looking forward, um, and we will make uh, this happen. I know we will, but uh, I have a lot of good news for you, but we try not to put it out anymore until um, until it's totally, what do you call it? Uh, uh, established. It's not established, it's just that they are, um, there is a number of major corporations. Secured? Yeah, they are secure. Um, it's the same as what... Um, uh, we have with the banking system, we won't announce the name of the bank which we are taking over till it's all done and dusted, that nothing can be done, and uh, the same as with the television station. And Mr. Cash, uh, looking forward any time to, to talk with you, I also wanted to share some uh, uh, things uh, which I come across about uh, the banking system. I would like to share no, these... We already, uh, have, we already have signed ourselves into it. We, we are becoming part of... Uh, I see. Uh, we are well, well done in there. Uh, we, this is a gift from the governments to us. Very interesting. I explained to you something while you're on the phone. I haven't seen you for a while. These people who write, and they've been writing to the, um, to the government, to the police, to the banks, they are doing the biggest favor for the foundation. <laughs> I'll tell you what it is. It's happened in past few days. They, they write to the police that this is a fraud, a scam. And then the police comes to investigate and says, how come you're here? We didn't know. We need <laughs> it. I said, thank you very much for introducing. They are doing more pleasure to us than anything else. It's the same as with the banking. They, they went out writing to the banks, we are a fraud, we are laundering money. All comes from Red Circle in, Man in Antwerp and uh, Germany. Yes. And, uh, and the bank says, we didn't know there is such a thing. Can we buy some shares in the organization? So when, when the Dutch manufacturing started, the bank, you're our bankers, you can buy shares. Now the same with the police and the military. The military wants to know how they can use this. They wrote to the army in Italy that we are a terrorist organization, the rest. And then now the army asked us, just, just before we break, can we talk to see how we can produce this system for 
jamming our systems, which others are doing when they want to do something wrong. Amazing. The more these people are writing to to block us, the more they open door for us. And the structure of the banking system comes through that way. They, they, the, the, the Italians and some of the European governments have opened their eyes. We have this technology, we didn't know about it. These people write to them, so it's so much we want to do. We want to, you know, these are terrorists, they're money laundering, they're doing uh, scams, and then the government come and have a look. We would like to be part of this scam. So the more a scam they write, the more jobs they create for you. It is like uh, it is like like Aikido, you know. <laughs> we just we just using the force. They 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 are doing us a lot of favor. Please write as many emails as you can to Barry Police Station. We invite you because you have opened a huge door for us. Write to all the militaries. You have opened a huge door for us. We don't think of it, but the enemies always do serve us very well. They are enemy of their own selves, but doesn't matter. But it's nice to see. But I just tell you, because of part of this work they've done, you have a lot of jobs to do, especially maybe to set up under one or two factories in Italy. We Thank you, sir. To meet them out. Thank you very much for your help. Enjoy. God bless you, sir. Thank Enjoy you. Enjoy your holidays and give my best regard to your beautiful wife. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Keshe. And, and any time uh, you would like to discuss, just uh, let me know and uh, and just let me know what yeah, the time. Uh, you will speak to your boss. He's there. <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting in California at the moment. <laughs> oh, we talk every day. We talk every day. <laughs> Armin is amazing. <laughs> no God bless problem. you, sir. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. The Cash Foundation has become a beautiful family. The ones who work around the foundation, so now the core team of some 50, 60 people, it, it's beautiful to see how they work. And this is how we explain and develop the technology amongst each other. Any other question? Yes, I've got a question here from Niels from Austria. <clears throat> he says, I'm bu uh, building at this moment the spaceship and also have one Magrav running at home. One thing I'm interested in is, is there a parallel to what he calls the Selvica in Damanhur in Italy? And he says they also work with copper coils and spheres. Or does Mr. Kesh know about the, the technic from Damanhur? Never that, heard of it. You haven't heard of Damanhur? Uh, I, I checked it out in Wikipedia. It's actually a federation of Dam and Her. It's a, a village in northern Italy, um, north of the city of Turin. And they have their own philosophy. It's sort of a new age group, you might say. And they've, oh, they've God. made Is that on the tunnels. west of Italy? They made tunnels and so on. Oh, uh, yes, yes, I know them. I don't know. I can't remember them. Yes, I know them. I've been to their place. It's their name they after the Rome. Egyptian city of Damanhur, which is the site of the temple dedicated to Horus way. and so on. And they have apparently un underground way. facilities that they've created and beautiful structures and this kind of thing. But apparently yeah, they I have these units. I think their, their boss is called the Crow or something like that. Yeah. I know, a couple of years ago, we, I know what it is. I can't remember names, but now I speak about it. They built, they actually changed the law in Italy for them. Hmm, yeah. They, they, what happened, they, they went through the same phase as we did, and the enemies, the guy who actually wanted to destroy them, helped them. Mm -hmm. The story behind it is they, they built underground caves to make temples. They made gorgeous temples. Right. And yeah. one of the, one of the guy close to the top man, uh, about 15, 20 years ago, whatever, 10, 15 years ago, he, exactly what we have with the Red Circle. Uh, he went to, and because building caves and living on the caves in the underground in Italy was illegal. You cannot do this, it's absolutely illegal. So he went and he, he asked for one million, two million, you pay me, otherwise I'm gonna tell the government you're doing illegal activities here. And the guy said, do whatever you like. So. His name is Falcon, the boss, yeah. I met him, a very nice guy. I had lunch with them and we stayed there with my oldest son, they invited us there a couple of years ago. And um, 
what happened? He went to the police, and when the uh, Cabaneri and the police came uh, to these caves, the top man in the police says, I'm not touching this. This is so beautiful, so much energy spent in this to be done. He actually helped the group to make it legal to have such a place in Italy. So the enemy trying to destroy it actually made the law. They made the law in, in the government in Italy that they could keep it. And it's absolutely gorgeous the place they made. The ones who damage people who do beautiful jobs get damaged by themselves. And it's, I know them. I know we have nothing to do with them. They, they have their own structure of working, their own supermarkets and their own uh, ideas about what they do and psychologically and emotionally and socially, uh, I don't agree with such a structure. Apparently they have some um, devices that might be similar no, or similar technologies. Up That's why they invited us. They wanted <laughs> to see if we can help them. So I know what right. you're talking about. They okay. don't do, they wanted to set up a company with us to use it, and I think, uh, very nice people, extremely mm -hmm. nice people. But no, they don't have a technology which is working. Because I okay. know I went there, the scientific people invited me there. They are very self-sufficient, um, and they use as a tourist place. I know who you're talking about, no. Okay, good, thank you for that answer. Um, we have a, a, an important question from Abby Joe. I know you probably want to wrap things up here soon, Mr. Kesher, or should we keep going for a while? How are you I doing? I have no problem. I okay, just great. Wait yeah. Um, um, do you need a minute there? Sorry. Uh, no, I'm just trying. We can almost see your phone on, in the video, so maybe you want to pull it away a little bit from the video. Um, okay. Uh, uh, just one second. I have to. Mr. Cash, can you pull you your phone pull, back? Pull your phone back from the video. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, I have to. So I have to send something out. It has to be. Okay. Um. The. Oh. The, the process of teaching from now on will be very interesting. What I want to teach you, I was waiting, I'm waiting for a friend to come in. He's a doctor, and I delayed this part of the teaching because he asked me, he's going to come here, I'm waiting for him, and then I'll open a new insight into the medical application. In the last night opening of the, uh, what do you call the, uh, uh, French uh, Cash Foundation section of Canada. I explained to them today. I will I'll disclose this um, technique of the health. But uh, I'm just waiting for this gentleman to arrive. He's a I respect him highly. A medical man, man of medicine. He is uh, is coming to be with us, and then he wanted to be when I explain this to you. We can extend it by one hour but it will be very important for the health application. We are getting a lot of support from the medical world with what we do and what they see, and uh, it's a pleasure to have them sometimes with us. Let me explain, in the process of uh, understanding the structure, if we, um, if we look at the system, uh, we need to uh, go back on understanding the work of the structure. Uh, in being able to see the work of the structure, in being able to feel the work of the structure, you, um, you have to extend the limits of the knowledge 
and um, limits of um, understanding in a way that um, we can utilize all the forces. Ut Hello. Extract. Sorry. Hello. We, we just missed a couple of words there, Mr. Kish. It's okay yeah. now. It means how to extract or how to inject into a system what you need and what you want to take out of. This system can be anything. It can be a power supply. It can be the human body. It can be, just one second please. It can be the process within the structure of the body of the man. Just one second please. What it comes and what is important is that um, we understand if we take the essence of entity away, we can do anything we like. What is important is that We can do the same thing with the body of a man. If you take your body of the man, and does not matter what you put on it, legs, arms, or head, there is only one part of the body of the man which is vulnerable and can be manipulated. And more or less, this is the human body part. The brain section, you manipulated by the plasma, but the body of the man, you manipulate it with the matter of the plasma, where the emotional part does not work that way. One of the problems which we have seen, and one of the problems which is at the moment ongoing, is, just one second, One of the problems we have at this moment is, for example, in the heart of the man, when you have a valve or you have a, a blood vessels blocked, we go for the open operations, we call them open heart surgeries. We need to change a valve, we need to, what we call the bypass, we take a piece from one end and we attach to it to allow the system to regenerate, or at least to work. There is a new alternative way, and this alternative way is very simple. This has to be done by the man of medicine, and in a very rapid way, we can explain to you how you can do it, how it can be done, by those are who are physicians, who understand the process. Our friend has arrived here, sitting next to me, then I can teach easy. The process is simple. We've seen these systems, now we're going to see what we thought about the energy and the production of the spaceship, is how to use the same core system in building blocks of the body of man. How you can do the same thing without actually doing a single open heart surgery. You can literally destroy cancer with the same process. If you have a cancer, if you have any kind of what I call repairs you need to kidney, to liver, without opening the body of the man, you'll be kicking yourself. 
but it's good to kick. Let's say this is the body of the man. Maybe if we can take it out. Caroline. Take it out, we this done. So pick this up. If this is the body of the man, and somebody here, there is a heart of the man, or a cancer point. All of you have seen this pen. You all made it. And in about two weeks time, three weeks time, you can buy them from the Keshe Foundation with the health certification from the EU. And all of you have seen our old friend, the coil. The disease of the man is connected with his emotion and physicality. If you have, let's say, the man with a heart problem, you can point the system at a point of where you want to change the heart valve, where you want to change... Good afternoon, thank you very much. All you need to know, you need to point, if I can put it on a direction, where you see the point. You encircle the gravitational, the emotional part of the organ, and with the outer ring, you connect the physicality change. Very easy. When you place it on the position of the change, and you'll find, and you can point between one to three pens in the position of the valve, or as you want to change the heart vessels in opening up regenerating, you can do it, and by holding it within minutes, removing it, and repeating the same operation over and over, the heart cells will rebuild themselves and you don't need to do any operation of open surgery. The same with the cancer. If you have a cancer lump, even in the breast, you can position the system on the back of the body or on the breast, and by pointing the system, your pen, you change the emotion and the physicality of the cancer. And you find out within seconds, the whole operation starts to reverse. In a space, you don't need to carry any medicine. So easy. So, if you are physicians, I know a large number of doctors listen, you can start testing with the coils, with your patients. Combination of the pen, the pen directs the position. The coil covers the totality of the environment in comparison. So, if you have a cancer point, if I can find something here. If you have a cancer point in the center, then this compares with the totality of the area, and this converts the totality. The strength of the pen you make dictates the depth where it has to operate. You can move the pen in a given position to reach the point where you find the work. If there is no difference, if there is no problem, there is no need for a change. You can make pens in a way that only affect the tissue muscle of a given strength. This is what you physicians have to develop. And the research center will develop further. Where you will decide in change of character, emotionally and physically, and it gives the disappearance of the diseases. If you understand what you do, with these coils, you can make two different sizes of coils. A bigger coil and a smaller coil, and cover cancers which are spread. 
So you put one in the back and one in the front. The body of the man sits between the coils. And this way you can go through every single structure. But you got to make sure that you do not or you understand how you have nano coated the GANs. This is important. Do not use random GANs, you have to use CH3 or CuO or CO2 or CO2. You have to understand what was the cause of the emotion. You can change and reduce brain tumors in no time using this technology. Let the physician test and tell us. We set the guidelines, we set the procedure. What you do, you need, especially for emotional diseases, cancers, you need the head to be at the point of the emotion in the center between the two, exactly where your two ears sit. The shape of your ears, if you look precisely inside, is not much from these two. What you hear, which causes the change in the emotion. The words, the teeth. What you see, the two eyes focus into the same center. Then you understand why you need this confirmation of the shape of emotion and physicality. The emotion of one side changing the physicality of the other. But don't forget that inside each is both gravitational and magnetic. Cancer should not take more than a few minutes. Understanding the cancer itself means a higher level energy in comparison to the rest of the environment of the body of the man. When you have a cancer, you have the amino acid. If you add a calcium to it, we were discussing the other night. So now it has a heavier gravitational magnetic field. So it absorbs, because of the calcium, a stronger field. Now this is heavier compared to this environment and it starts pulling more and more field to itself and the tumor grows. All you need to do is to place a system which is in balance and then you'll find out the tumor dissolves within its own environment in a way it releases its energy and when it releases energy it has no physical entity. So, now we go a step further than the pens. If you structure them the right way, and the coils, you structure them the right way, are the tools to eradicate any diseases on this planet. Even disinfecting waters, where you walk into disinfected, what do you call it, infected waters. The water, the system will change itself without any changes. Don't forget, here we've been using electric current. Now, using the new plasma batteries, which I explained today, you have no interaction with the matter vibration. You work in the plasma state, and this way you cover, as I explained, the totality of the spectrum of the plasma. From high power to the matter state. So, because there is high power, the matter state diseases, germs, cannot exist. These kind of systems are one of the best disinfectants you'll ever find, if you can manage to produce the plasma batteries. So, a lot of problems in the health section, as I said, 
in 2016, we're going to change the whole course. You've seen the introduction of the new batteries, more powerful batteries. The introduction of the new space technology in a spaceship. Now, as usual, we cover the health aspects, which is, now you can directly control the position of the cancer. You can energize it in a way that it receives so much energy, in comparison to its environment, becomes balanced with itself. And what we have seen within the first 10 minutes, the first steps will start. Um, Mr. Kesh, in the spaceship environment, um, where these fields will be, will be prevalent, will there be a natural healing um, facility by that, by being in that environment? What do you mean? I mean, if, uh, if the positioning system is using um, fields and part of it might uh, um, have auxiliary uh, power units that might have uh, GANs and so on in them, in various sorts, those fields would be going on all the time, creating a, a, a healthy environment for people, or yes. would they still yes. have to have particular issues addressed, yes. let's say? Mm -hmm. Yes, in a way, because you don't, in, half of our problem, it comes from the interaction with our environment. Right. But most of the diseases come from environmental interactions. Well, this, and this... when you create a control balance, you don't have half of the problems we see at the moment in, the, in our society. Right. This ties in with Abby Joe's question I was about to bring up, which is, how are, how are we going to travel inside the spaceship in matter form, bod bodily form, or plasma form? And how is the ship insulated All it. for All the... All of it in one go. How is the ship insulated for matter and body if we are traveling in a plasma form? Um, it's very simple. You, you create a given condition, and that given com condition is sacrosanct, it will not change. And the, the given condition dictates the, the whole psychological and physical condition of the body of the man. Don't forget that as we thought in the past, as you enter new environments of different strengths, the space doesn't have a continuous um, field of strength. Because of the structure which you build, the environment can change the structure. So you don't have a physical structure made of aluminium that you're fixed with. Because you can change the combination of the reactors in creation of the matter state, three layers of skin of the man, as I always explain, then you change into the higher strength than the field. If this is 10 to the power of 10, and this is 10 to the power of 12, by changing the fields in your reactors, you go 10 to the power of 14. So now you are stronger than your environment. And sequentially, your plasma, because your body is made of gas, moves into the same level because you are part of the content of it. This is how it works, and I think in the, maybe you were present in the test was done a couple of days ago, a few days ago, where we saw the people moving and they were explaining to us about the plasmas, that the room looked like a, a plasmatic bluish color. Uh, this has changed the people too. We change according to the strength of the environment, because we still exist within it. You don't leave half, half of your ear behind, or one of your legs. Well, that, that brings up a question that, that I have, in terms of what we were just speaking of, what you were just uh, saying. Um, it makes sense to me that when these fields are increased, that the, um, the GANs within our body and the, the nanomaterials 
uh, between GANs and nanomaterials that pretty much makes up our, our whole body. But what about people that might have, uh, I don't know, titanium pins in their body? Or in the case of most people, um, we have fillings in our teeth. We've got these, uh, uh, you know, uh, mercury um, fillings, yeah, mercury well, silver when fillings. You, when uh, this goes back into what we always discuss, because what enters your mouth, what enters your body, is in a cancer state environment, it's already in that structure. It's like the copper in your nano coated in the GANS of the, uh, your batteries. It still carries itself through, because it's actually, even though it gives the shape, but itself has become part of the stronger field, what is the plasma. So it's a separate, uh, it's part of our own entity-ness and our, our fillings wouldn't get ripped out or something like no, that no, in that case. I don't think so. <laughs> we haven't seen it up to now. I don't think it's happened tomorrow. Okay. I wondered if, if people would have to have their fillings removed in order to be on the, on the spaceship. <laughs> and that could be know. a big concern. Some will know, but I don't think so. Okay. There is no difference in the environment of the presence when you are in the spaceship. Because you created the environment, you are part of it and you are adopted to it. Okay. It's not like a pressure and temperature. Okay. Um, Stefano has an interesting... Oops, someone has their mic open there, I think they were about to ask a question. Let me get this one in. Stefano uh, says, good morning, Mr. Kesh. To what extent can one rely just on his own body as a Magrav's power unit after a correct, quote, inside job? Can you explain? I think what he's trying What's to say is... Job? Well, I, that, I think that's the part of what Zizen used to, uh, was saying. Um, he calls it an inside job when um, uh, one makes uh, changes inside oneself um, in order to connect with the uh, uh, emotional part and the, the soul and so on. And so uh, Stefano is indicating that if you do a, a correct inside job on yourself to to correct yeah, yourself. Yeah. Let, me, let me go back to something before I forget. I've seen a lot of people saying that these pens need the right emotion and right feeling, and if it's not right, it doesn't work. First of all, one of the principal things to do when you're using these systems, you cannot hold your own pen to heal yourself. That's fundamental. If you have a pain in your arm, you can take it and do it, but you find out the efficiency is not there. Because now, if you look, you're part of the same circuit, and this circuit was part of the main problem to start with. You have to always find a way that the pen is not used or held by yourself. This is very important, because you are part of the problem to start with, and now you're trying to solve the problem. So, your energy field, your gravitational magnetic field is part of the balance of the equation. Because this system inside radiates its fields out, and it takes fields from outside, it's not insulated. Don't get fooled by the physicality of the plastic which is containing it. So, always try to use the pen from another point position, or not for you to be holding it. Secondly is, how you can dictate the direction of the position of the pen. When you're using these pens, if you hold it direct, you have a different plasma field, than you're tilting it. You can use two or three pens to the same point. The other most probably important point to remember when you're using these pens, is and will be, what and how they've been structured. 
a lot of people are using these pens and the, the, even the coils, you will start producing new coils for the health section, now that you know what you can do with it, is how you create the material to create these pens. They tell me, does it matter if I have a, what do you call it, a wooden pen or a plastic pen? Not really, because the field is constant. Now you create the case limit to it. What it comes and releases it. This pen works like this. If you look at this pen, this pen does not work like this, as you think. This pen works like this. Here, in fact, goes like this. So, you, if this is a cell which is damaged, not using these systems, understand the totality, not just get absorbed by the point of what's inside and how you've done it. From tip of your pen on the top to the bottom of it is involved in this, whatever you call inflammation or whatever. It's not the tip only. This is very important because the field of strength is different within the within this structure. And each one layer carries different strengths. So you work with the totality of the pen. The same with the rings. When you have the rings, you work with the total environment which the ring creates, both emotionally and physically. That's why they are so effective. What you change inside, I can change the cancer point in your breast within minutes. But if in the emotion brain of the man, the cancer point has to be there to confirm the pain of the existence of what the person has been into, you'll find the cancer will come back within hours. You have to sort the cause of the problem, which is the emotional part. You can use this system without touching for change of the skin of the man. I've showed you this before. The worst degree burns, within minutes you can start building layers, if you know how to do it, even with the pens. I'll teach you more and more as we go into this. You can use the coils, just to be placed, three level coils which you have in the stacker units are one of the best units for repair healing burn units. For change of uh, bone fracture. If you use the coils, you understand, when you have your, when you make your systems, when you made your tree stacker, if you done the correct uh, GANS process, you can move your hand, your arm around in different position of the stacker, to heal or to repair even injuries to animals because the field of strength, if you made sure that there's a amino acid mixture in one of your layers, you always do the same job. The stacker unit is not just for energy, and it doesn't need the wishful thinking, if you pray to it, it'll give you, if your intention is right. Your intention is plasmatic. So, you can change anything you like, by the structure which you build your systems from. No, it's the balance. In the, it's a balance. It's a total, you put uh, many people talk about a toroid being the, you know, central core shape of everything in the universe and that kind of thing. No, it, in a way you, you create, when you put two systems, if you put two, two systems uh, like the double coil, as you have, if you put a body of the man in between, 
you cover the full spectrum of what that happens in there. <clears throat> we know, uh, we are all aware of a guy who most probably listening himself, another guy who been part of another test, where they don't see their own hand. They don't see the fingers of people around it. We, we monitored this in the past few days together, Eric and Vince. The, the point is that the body of the man dis don't disappear, that you don't see it, it goes somewhere else. The thing is, the man who made the coil with the ganses he put on it, he created a gravitational magnetic field in this core that in a strength in a given position from the setup is equal to amino acid of the skin of the man. And being in balance is no interaction, there is no visibility. Now this is what we've been teaching, and now that's what you see it physically. It's not that the hand disappears. If you put a hand here, and in the core which is made in the middle, in this part of the core was all by accident, amino acid of the man was deposited from the setting of the coil. The field created here will be equal to the one of the skin of the man, which is the pure amino acid. And then because it's in balance, there is no interaction, there is no visibility. That's why we don't see, that's why the guy who said he saw his hand and his wife tried it and then they panicked. And the one which we, we saw last week, we could see, or this week, we could see the ladies moving her finger and some fingers you couldn't see and you could see in some positions. It's partially because of the amino acid which is used unknowingly or as part of the structure of the building the GANS has mixed into the system. So, it's the field interaction which is in touch and in balance which gives no interaction phase. In the books and in the papers, I always spoke about this. When the field from the source and the object is of the same strength, there is no interaction between the fields to confirm the existence of visibility, according to the man. So, you can disappear. Caroline's trying to tell me something. What? Oh, yeah, they're looking for answers for amputation. We put these systems with amputation um, in, in, in open soon. And this is part of the thing we can overcome. Um, the whole process is very simple. It's understanding the field interaction between the two parts. If you create a balanced position, even with emotion, you find a balance in the emotion, if you put the right amount of CO2, in your structure and the mixture, you'll find, you'll find peace in the total environment of the body of the man. We will record more and more of these sessions, and as I said, we go public with it. That you can see how you're visible there, and you can stand in the middle of the triangle, more or less, and you are totally invisible. We can hear your voice, but we will not be able to see you. You all can do. What you got to do when you're making your stackers, go to your CO2 boxes, go to your uh, copper oxide boxes, and if you remember that amino acid layer on the top, which you saw, the fat, make sure that fat becomes part of your GANS material, which you made your cores with. If you think it's too late, you can still go and brush it. You can make your system invisible. Uh, Mr. Keshe, under those conditions of invisibility, does that make one also, in effect, invisible to gravity, or is still fully under no, effect no, of gravity? No, 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 no. It's no. Just, this is just a, just a minor it's step on the way. Observation, yeah. Okay. You can walk out of the middle of the system, people see you, you go back, and they don't see you. But you don't go anywhere as such, and you the system go doesn't you, go anywhere. You, you, were, you were present in the test this week, Rick. Yeah, huh? yeah. We saw where the fingers disappeared, huh? But you did mention that this shimmering effect is one, and, and things like shaking in the past 
are, are symptoms of uh, the, the next step where you might get lift or at least a reduction in the uh, yes, weight. Yes, but that is a different way. Right. But that is for the system, sh what I call gravitational shaking, to, to get lift. Right. So it is very simple. I mean, we, we've seen it. We The people have seen it. That's why they wanted us to have a look at it. So the system is very simple. It's understanding there is no magic. You create a balanced environment, you are invisible. Right, it's, it's, only, it's only because of that gradient that we're able to it's see things, yeah. that's Marco's right. Marco's favorite word, mm -hmm. yeah. Now, on the, in the spaceship, there would be presumably the gradient, otherwise everyone would be invisible, or would people be invisible? You can become invisible. You can create conditions of invisibility, of tangibility. Some when conditions rest, in space, you would probably want to be invisible to those situations. Yes, um, when you want to rest, situations. you don't rest in a physical manner. You rest in a non-tangible manner. You will see this. You will, you will, you will understand this very quickly. It's very much like the way you have the atmosphere. We don't see the moisture till it goes up and it becomes a cloud, then becomes apparent to us. It's the mm -hmm. same process, how you want it, where you want to be, and what condition you want to create. The, as I, as I said this morning, uh, I have taught you everything that you can start individually build a spaceship without a need for any power supply, because I showed you even how to make the power supply. And then you know how to feed yourself, because you've, you've been taught enough. It's just a matter of to see how many of you will race towards the building, uh, the, the structure. Uh, things don't exist, they exist. Don't look for the, what I call the spaceship. Look to see if you suddenly see a shape of a plate, or you see copper flying in the middle of the room or hanging and hovering, because you, you, you are not perfectionist, you haven't got your dancing yet properly. So you create layers that they lead to structures that you would not expect of that appear. Or don't be worried if you walk in the room and you hit something, I hit something, but it wasn't there, but how come I hit it? The, the game has started very nicely. So every single one of you, even if you made the three rings stacker, now start making a four ring stacker, or five ring stacker, and try to see how you can bring the three dimensional existence the way your skin is. Your skin is nothing but a mirage, but the interaction of three layers. Your stomach is the same, your heart is the same. Now you can test it. Uh, Arthur asks, um, if we want to cascade our Magrav with the second unit, do we need to remove the five capacitor pack? Mr. Kesh said he will tell Not us how really, to properly no. cascade. No. no, you don't need to. If you add the split capacitors and the power supplies to your system, you'll find out your energy system will work much more efficient. We're going to release this in the coming days. And there was a question, uh, will that be part of the blueprint uh, teaching? Uh, oh, try try to get that. a lot of people drawing the blueprint. Okay, yeah. Oh yeah, Caroline has raised the question. The others are asking, Caroline to ask me. Now she asked, I'll ask you, I'll answer you in a very nice way. She says, what happened if we create the environment that we see entities, which is now it's a new environment that we haven't seen before? There's no problem, it's still like seeing a new dog, or new friend. It's all the same. No, don't worry about the communication, don't we can sign language very well. Mr. Any Cash, I have a question for the, I'm sorry, go ahead. Who's speaking? Uh, Robert from Utah. Uh, hi, Robert. Hi, Robert. Still, hi, how are you? Not too bad. Okay, I have a question for the group that I work with that they wanted me to ask. Um, it says, when I have assembled the capacitors, I do not get readings for resistance, as shown in the videos um, that you guys showed in the 91st Knowledge Seekers oh, Workshop. Uh, are they still working properly? And I just 
I didn't have a uh, proper answer for them. What do you mean? What resistance? Okay, I think what she's talking about is in the video um, that you guys showed, when he put them together and had the paper <clears throat> uh, in the capacitor, he was getting small readings um, for voltage, but nothing for, or and small ohm readings. I, I don't think that she gets an ohm reading. And I told her that it's probably just because her capacitor is nano coded better or not you necessarily. You see any result, uh, depends. Some of them is totally zero. And the other thing is if it's your capacitor is still wet. Uh, no, I don't, no, she said that she was able to dry them completely. She dried them for a good day and a half or so. Uh -huh. No, we don't see that. We, we see a current and a voltage. The resistance should be absolutely maximum because it's nanomaterial. Okay, great. Yeah, that's exactly what, what she wanted to know. That's Thank you very much. Be. In summer, there is a short time. Okay, yeah. She's coming up here um, Thursday so that I can help her with that as well. So, Or maybe to oh. this afternoon so that I can help her with it too. So we'll get through it. Thank you, Mr. Cash. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We are nearly four hours. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we got the to only get ready. Pardon? I was just answering Rick's uh, comment. I was just going to say the only computer we have is in my son's room, so I'm unable to use it at nighttime. So I apologize no for my problem. phone. No problem. You're welcome. Um, and we got to get ready for one of those of us who would like to enjoy the last hours of the new old year. And yes, indeed. Thank you very much for your time. And uh, I know that next year will be totally different than this year. If you start building, be careful you don't fly with it. Is there a way we can tether these down? I don't see a way of tethering plasma, but maybe just by doing the just, just stack? Kick it. Just kick your unit. Just move it out of position. The whole thing will collapse. OK. That's the easiest way, <laughs> because you cannot interfere. That's, it's happened that's, to me. I don't know what That's your last to big advice you. of the year, Mr. Keshe, is to just kick yeah, your yeah, unit? No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, it's just a Well, okay. in an emergency. All, all you need to do is to change the environment, and the system collapses. What yeah, I did hear to uh, capacitors into the field. Uh, four capacitors and some batteries into the field, and that that would, would help with that. Is that true? Yeah, I don't know. It depends how you build your system. But uh, if you come, I advise you, so a lot of you will report this and you'll be frightened to do it. And when it happens to you, um, is when you find yourself encapsulated, the only way out is to change the environment, to reduce, not to add. And the only way you reduce, you withdraw the gravitational field line. The three lines which you pointed at the bottom to connect the base, that's the only way you can take the floor out of it. Because if you remember, when you put the three units, you created the floor. So all you need to do is to break up one of the lines. When there is no floor or floor changes, the structure disappears. And if you build the system, you can't get the structure just move these along very, very little till you see the shimmer blue light because from the interaction of the nitrogen and then move it till you see solidity in one side. This is, I told you in this morning, try to look to see if you don't see what is supposed to be behind. If this is the ceiling of the room, if you can't see the ceiling, it means something is coming up. Move a little bit, very, very little at a time, till it solidifies. If what you move, don't move everything at the end. When is you start moving, when you start structuring, move very little at a time, one piece at a time. Mr. Keshe, if we're doing in a house, 
Uh, Good morning, Armin. <laughs> is it okay? <laughs> or we gonna Why take not? Why not? Just be careful the wife doesn't kill you. Use your mobile home. <laughs> Caroline says use your mobile home. Okay. <laughs> or the best is to do it in the swimming pool. <laughs> no, it's too cold. <laughs> Uh, no problem. Rick, did, was it an earthquake yesterday when you were teaching, or what was it? Did you yeah, it? right in the middle of the Keshe Plasma Reactor Group, my group, uh, I, I had an earthquake, the largest uh, earthquake in this area for years, and it was a 4.8 or so, and it was about um, maybe 30 kilometers away from me and 42 kilometers deep. So it was very close, and it shook here for uh, maybe five seconds or so, or, or even less. Uh, there was a, a sort of a bump or a thump first, and then a few seconds later it shook for a few seconds, like. And yeah, sure enough. <laughs> and also, um, down in Armin's area, they had an earthquake in California about five hours before the one here, apparently. And the seismologists say, well, they're not really connected, but I mean, and it was also a 4.4 .4 down there. So there you go. So it was an earthquake, it wasn't just a bump. It was an earthquake, yes, definitely. 4.8. Anyway, Happy New Year to you all, to everybody who believes in the path of Christ. And we wish you all the best in the coming time. But if you understood what we thought today, you should be all in the space by the time we celebrate the Iranian New Year, 21st of March. And a lot of you should be ahead in the next few days. I know two, three people are on the verge of solidification of the plasma in the space. And very soon, one or two of them will show. And I'm sure now you know, you don't need to have a five stacker, you can build five rings and start with a small. You don't need to buy a 14 uh, gauge. You can start with the wires in the, in the, what you call it, in the computer. And start building it very slowly to get the confidence. And don't be scared, show it. There are a lot of people who sit on a tail rack in Germany who want to see not to be done till the Germans do it, that they'll be their way. And this belongs to humanity, not a bunch of terrorists. And Again, we thank you for your 50 emails to the police in Barry, because it helped the police to understand what is sitting in the hand of the Italians more, they want to protect it more, because we create jobs. <laughs> so, the more harm you do, the better it is for us. You think you're harming us, but you're putting us in the hand of the people finding out, oh, they're here, why we don't use them? And very soon, you will understand the collaboration between the Cash Foundation and the Italian Space Organization will strengthen very rapidly after the holidays. So, Please yes. write as many as you can. <laughs> Please write. <laughs> write as many things, make us as big a terrorist as you can. <laughs> write to all the banks, tell us we laundry money, because our bank says, if you laundry money, can we have a share in the structure of the cash foundation manufacturing? Because now, the profits is where it's coming from, the banks would like to make money. And as you've seen, our banks are still running very solid. Now they tell us if there is a problem somewhere. Before we had to go and see if there was a problem with the payment. Now they understand what we are. Please write to as many as police stations as you can. <laughs> to as many governments and military forces. This is fantastic. We thank you for it. <laughs> Contr your contribution is more than you can think. Yeah, there's no, there's no stopping it, that's for sure, Mr. Cash. And there's no stopping it at this point. No, and it's th not me anymore, they could that's right. and come and kick our cold. Yeah, so and if, in effect, it's, it's not even the Cash Foundation, because there's just, just such a massive movement all over the planet that uh, it's just people are doing it, and they're inspired by the, the work that you've done, and so on, and, and that's enough to, to spark the, like, everything. You can see the change. Mm -hmm. People can see the change, but the beauty of it is not one man they can harass anymore. We heard they threatened somebody's family in the past 24 hours, but uh, these are all cowards. These are the people who never made a single system themselves, 
and these are the people who've been lived after terrorism. Now they call it uh, internet terrorism, and they, they are paid, well paid. The, the money to buy half a million apartment is not there anymore, we moved out. So they have to make it somewhere else, at least they should, are doing something to their bosses. Wish you all the best for Christmas and New Year, and Christmas gone, Christmas. the New Year is there, and hopefully we see each other next Thursday, and maybe by then we might even show you a flight system. You never know. I will not do it anymore, a guide. And when they are dead, they decide if they want to show. Okay, and, great. Uh, please uh, understand the work of the plasma, the nano-coated material, the GAN system, the rings, and if you decide <coughs> to use it for your cancer or your loved ones, understand how you're doing it, do not connect it to a power supply, make yourself a powerful GANS battery, that then everything works in the same process. What happens, the energy from the cancer will deposit in the battery and it converts to another use. You move the cancer to another position, it's energy, not the cancer itself. That's why you have a capacitor and a converter capacitor, a split capacitor. All the best, and I hope you all be healthy for next year, that we can break through what we've been looking for. Thank you. Very good. Thanks all of you. Thank you, Mr. Cash, for being uh, a good guide. Yeah. Yeah. Happy New Year. Maybe we can, yeah, we can all chime in and just say Happy New Year here is probably a good idea. So, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. See you in the New Year. From all over the world. All from over all the world. world. That's right. From us Happy Pest New Year. Happy New Year from South Korea. <laughs> Do we have any other languages other than English that uh, could chime in perhaps? Boldog új évet kívánok mindenkinek. Boldog új évet. Oszvatim van a nyertül mond. Climbing Yanogat. Lamol szány vedrodat a lumia. Putand vartukal. Semo mani padiseo. Semo mani padiseo. Anyone from China? Good New Year, uh, Nederland. Deutschland. <laughs> Richard. <laughs> All Snow and Gordon. <laughs> A Russian. All the best. <laughs> Rick, I'll be hosting that plasma meeting uh, 10 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Um, ID number 619-402-349 if anybody would like to go. Thank you. Yes, so right. working New Year's. <laughs> yes. I think most no of us time do. left. Happy New Year, everybody. All the best. See you Happy next time. Thank you, Bye -bye. Caroline. Thank Same you, to everybody. you. Thank you, Caroline. Happy New Year. Ah, oh, hello. Yeah, Hi, Mrs. You. Westinghouse. <laughs> <laughs> I have last to put that in. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> <He's nasty. laughs> Thank you very much for everything. Thank you. Welcome. Thanks Thank to Lisa so and the team. Thank you, Mr. Kesh. Thank you, Caroline. Thank you, everybody. Thank we'll you so you. much. See you next year. All the best. See you next year, everybody. Will do. Thank you, Sylvester. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. All right. Bye bye. We could probably go on. Touchland. <laughs> Touchland. <laughs> we we could go on all night with this. <laughs> okay, we better end things here. Thank you so much. Okay. That's the uh, end of the